Welcome, so good to have you all with us. I know most of us have met, some of us may have not, but um, for those of us that haven't, my name is Ty, and uh, I'm based here, literally here. This is like the church my parents started 20 something on years ago when they moved over here from South Africa. So started in our living room, and yeah, a few years later we ended up here. So I was working here full time, but um, two years ago, just over two years ago, I joined this platform, and uh, and yeah, life has been pretty pretty massive pretty since then. So. Managed to scale back from full time to part time, and um, and yeah, just been running. And we've got an amazing community that are scattered throughout New Zealand, around the world. But to set the tone, I thought, you know what, for tonight, since we're going to dive into the nuts and bolts on how this business works, I thought I'd just show you a recap video of an event I went to last year. So I went to this event in Arizona last year, completely blew me away. Being in the room with thousands of individuals, all on the same path, just th this changed everything for me. I'd already been part of the company for about a year. But getting in a room with thousands on the other side of the world, just it didn't just change my life, it then it really rippled through our whole team and then took half a dozen with me to the next event in Miami and we're all headed off to Croatia in three weeks for the next big one where they're expecting about 10,000. So amazing company, amazing vision, but I thought just to give you a taste of really what this looks like on a global scale, that I play a video and then we'll launch into the rest of the night from there. And I'm just gonna sync this thing to the sound so it actually sounds appropriate, otherwise it's gonna be way too soft. Let me pull up this, and this, and Bluetooth, and we want to put it into that guy. This will sound way better. Here we go. Sweet. We are now united. This is going to be a whole different culture, a whole different energy. anywhere in the world to be surrounded by people that have your best interests at heart. Go home, take action, not just to go hit a rank, not just to go make some money, but make an impact in your community, make a difference. What you start to say now will come to pass in a year, two years, four years, five years. Don't let anyone, anything, and anybody tell you light. You light is yours forever and ever. Don't let anybody take it away from you, okay? If it doesn't have the right morales, you can leave my organization. I don't care about volume. I don't care about a hitting a rank, maintaining a rank, making it seem like I'm something that I'm not. I'd rather start over to know that the foundation that my daughter will walk upon will be very, very, very different. Two thousand and twenty-three is going to be the year of momentum inside of this company. Oh, I'm ready to get on a plane right now for the next one. I can't wait. I don't know about you, but that gets me pretty, pretty fired up to say the least. But yeah, so that was Arizona in in September last year, and then they've been having events throughout uh, throughout Europe. You know, Barcelona, Munich, 
uh, Rotterdam recently, and those are all eight to 12,000 people. So Croatia is looking like it's gonna be somewhere around 10,000 as well. So pretty fired up and excited for that. But tonight, you know, we've done, man, we have, we've been so blessed to have, you know, Richard with us from overseas and we've gone all over doing events in Rotorua and Taupo and Tauranga and a stack all around Auckland and have extended and extended and extended uh, the stay just because of the demand to just show up and keep learning, keep growing and more and more keep joining. So, you know, we did an amazing time here on Thursday night. We had a couple of our really good traders, my dad being one of them, which I never thought I would say that, but uh, my dad and, and Mario, someone who, um, you know, someone I've known for a very long time, he was a builder, quit building back on the 31st of March, just after being in our trading community a couple of years. So he's full-time trading now, a couple hours a day. But he and my dad did some training on the trading side, and then we transitioned, and, and Richard did an amazing training on business in general, kind of like the, the why this business, and, and for most of us, if you're in this room, you probably already know why, but it's the, you know, we highlight, like just highlight, you'll probably recap some of it, but just this idea of like, what is the perfect business? And the idea of not having, uh, a boss or not having employees, not having paperwork, hopefully having time freedom, location freedom, and, and that opportunity to actually have proper residual income. And so all those things were on the board and, and that really set the tone for the why we do this. And then we realized like uh, after that, there were a lot of people that were part of the room and were watching it. Um, they, they caught the why and then they started asking the how. How do we do this? How do we run as fast as we can? And so we thought, right, we need to do another night. We gotta do a part two. And so tonight we want to get real practical, nuts and bolts. How do you actually build this business, scale it and run it and, and create some legitimate impact and, and influence with people and help people really get off the ground in this space. At the same time, create some legitimate cash flow and residual income for ourselves in the process. And so with that, we have got a real legend in the room. For those of you who don't know, um, some of you do know, but for those of you that don't, we've got to give him a proper introduction. You know, Richard has been with the company for almost four years. Uh, broke records in sales before that that were present for 90 years in a previous company, but got running here and just went. He went to an event just like this, that changed everything, and then from there, really hit the ground running, hit Chairman 10 at a crazy pace, hit Chairman 25 not too long after that, and is now leading a team of thousands all around the world. And so, you know, he, he has a huge amount of love for our team here in New Zealand. This is his second time coming here. But um, for, yeah, just to, to give you the, the real context, this man is amazing. He's thrown so much into our life, uh, my family's life, and just our community here. But having him here, he, he really knows what he's talking about. He has not just created these results for himself, but he has helped a lot of people hit the chairman rank, etc. And so really excited to get into those nuts and bolts tonight. So can you please give a proper applause for Rich as he comes up. <laughs> Woo! And now he's not, let's go. Thanks, Ryan. All right. Um, give a, a round of applause for Ty, please. For everything that he does. What color, what color should I use tonight? Black, red, green, and green gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go. We'll start with that. We'll start with that. I can get down with that. I, I used to live in South Africa, so I'm down. I'm down with that. Um, all right, so guys, I, re I really want to recap. I'm gonna push this out here so I can just quickly recap. But who was here Thursday night? Bunch of you guys. Okay, a few of you guys. So Ty, you'll have to tell me where I need this to be. That's all right. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. And I'll just good? block this thing out so it's cool. This. So Thursday night, um, you know, we, we, we went through and did basically the why behind this business. Like, why is it the perfect business? And um, I was going to tell you guys a quick story how I got into this. And I'll, I'll tell you that real quick um, in a minute. But, you know, what Ty's done in this team and what all you guys, all you leaders that have done in this team is, is really special. And um, what, what you guys have here in New Zealand is special. And... This, this opportunity, I'm just gonna tell you, um, if you guys are, are you know wondering like, is this worth it? Is this business worth it to build? Uh, it takes work, it takes energy, ties away from his family tonight, again, um, to be here. And you know, it's, it's because, you know, he, he's caught the vision of what this is. And, and I can tell you guys that if you're wondering, is it worth it? It is worth it. Um, it's worth it to have residual income more than your residual bills. It's worth it to have time freedom. It's worth it to be able to have the, the life that you see in your in your imagination, right? That's what we always talk about. It's like, what do you see in your mind? You know, what, what life do you want to be living? And this is just a vehicle to get you there. So this isn't a magic pill. The business isn't like, you know, you just sign up and all of a sudden it's like everything all of a sudden just falls into place. It takes work, just like anything. Any business that you build or any business you start is going to take work, but it's worth it. And, you know, what we talked about the other night was, What's the perfect career, right? And we talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna recap this real quick for you guys, so I'm not gonna take too much time, but the perfect career, you know, we, we, I, I asked the audience here to say like, give me some things, right? And 
people said, you know, no boss, time freedom, um, something that's fun, something that has great products, low startup cost, uh, low risk, um, no commute, um, you know, something where you could pick the people you worked with, no paperwork, right? Like we did this whole, this whole list. And then what I did was I broke down the five different types of careers that you could have. So you could have a blue collar job, a white collar job. You could have a, uh, you could do a sales job. You could have a traditional business or you could be an investor and all careers basically fall into these categories, right? So I, my story is I started out blue collar, uh, worked, uh, restaurants, worked construction, worked, uh, oil and gas for a season. Uh, used to paint houses. Um, I've done, uh, roofing, I've done drywall, I've done framing, I've done, you know, concrete work. Like I did all the blue collar jobs and then I switched to, um, you could call it white collar slash sales where I was in the insurance industry and I was basically selling and doing white collar, you know, sitting in an office, um, where, you know, essentially at this, at, at the same time as, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm progressing. I'm not, you know, wearing steel toed boots and I, I'm not breaking my back. Um, it still didn't fit these categories, right. Of, you know, time freedom and, you know, can I choose the people I work with and all these different things that we broke down. And ultimately, you know, when I found investing and, and, and I started to understand, like you could learn how to trade and invest and all that stuff, put your money to work that got me closer. But when I found network marketing, I understood that this really is, this really does fit the perfect business because it just, it just, you know, all those things on that list, if you guys haven't seen the training, you can go watch it in the Facebook group you know, you, you realize that like, it's not perfect. It's just better. You know, that's what Eric worry says. It's not perfect. It's just better. And so, um, my story, how I got into network marketing was I was doing insurance and there's a buddy of mine named Ralph who I went to college with. We, he wasn't my college roommate, but he was like one of my best friends from college. And, uh, I tried to set him up on a, on a date with my sister one time. Cause I thought, ah, oh, he's like a good friend. He should be part of the family. And my sister, like, you know, got one sniff of this guy and was like, no, I'm not interested in this guy at all. So that didn't work out. But I was like, you know, we're, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be friends for life. We're going to be, you know, good buddies for a long time. He'd be like a flat tire friend, right? Like if I'm in trouble, I call him. So and vice versa. So we're real close. So I got into the insurance business. He was selling farm equipment. Anyone work in the farming industry before or in, in agriculture or anything like that in sales, that's what he was doing at the time. And I was like, bro, I'm like, you know, the whole John Deere thing is cool, but you should come over here and you should, you should do this. So he came over, started doing insurance and, um, you know, we were, we were just always doing stuff together. Right. So one day he phones me and this dude is just excited out of his mind. Like he was literally, I could hear the top of his head bouncing off the roof in the truck <laughs> as he was talking to me on the phone. I was like, this dude's so excited. I had no idea what he was talking about, but he's just like, you just got to get over to my house. So he comes to my house. And, uh, or, or I go to his house rather. And, um, and he's still sitting in his truck out front. So I go jump in his truck and he's like, dude, you're never going to believe what I found. I just met this guy and, and I, he told me about this amazing opportunity and da, 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 da. And like, dude, I got to bring you, I got to take you over to, to meet this guy right now. And I'm like, what, what's it about? He's like, don't worry. Just come with me. I'll show you. I'm like, cool. So I go to this Starbucks. I'm in Grand Prairie, Alberta. It gets down to like minus 50 in the winter time. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced minus 50, but you don't want to, it sucks. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's really cold. And, um, you know, I'm cold in New Zealand. So imagine me in Canada, right? <laughs> so anyways, we go to the Starbucks and we walk in and there's this dude named Andrew there. And I'm like, how'd you guys meet? And he, they're like, well, we were at this business networking thing, B and I, does anyone know what B and I is? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I was in B and I and Ralph was in B and I and Andrew was in B and I, but I was in a different chapter. So I went to the lunch events. They went to the breakfast ones or whatever. I didn't want to get up at like 6 AM and network with people. I was like, that's, I want, I need to like get, have some coffee first, you know? So I went to the lunch one. So these guys, like they meet at this breakfast thing. And, uh, anyway, I go into the Starbucks and, and Andrew literally just pulls out a napkin and starts drawing circles on his napkin and telling me about like this, this opportunity and how, you know, it was business services that people were already paying for anyways, but they could get it cheaper. And, you know, um, basically that, you know, that this thing was, was, was new and it was brand new in Canada at the time. It was an American company and I kind of like understood it, but I didn't really understand it. I just knew that this was a way for me to make some extra money. And I knew that, you know, I trusted Ralph 
because I'd known him for a long, long time. And I knew that if he was this excited, which I had never seen him this excited before, ever, and that's a clue, um, I was like, well, then it's got to be something pretty good, right? So Andrew says to me, well, bro, listen, um, let's jump out to my, to my car or to, to Ralph's truck. Um, yeah, Ralph's truck. And let me get you on the phone with uh, someone who's an expert in this business. And he can answer all your questions and, and, let's, and I, I want to introduce you to him. And then he edified John, who was, you know, the upline. <laughs> so John's this like, I never met John until later, but he's this like little short dude with glasses with like gray curly hair. And like, you know, he, he's, he's, you know, he's, this guy is, you know, been doing this for a while, extremely, extremely, extremely good on the phone. And he just understood the system of how to build the business. Like he was very, so he had taught Andrew, anybody you find, you just get them on the phone with me and I'll explain it to them and I'll answer their questions. So we go up to the truck and I sit in, in the, in the truck and gets, he gets John on the phone and he edified John. He edified me, you know, which basically is just building trust between two people that don't know each other. And then John explained to me how it worked and was like, so you ready to get started? And I was like, yeah. And I literally just took out my phone and took out a credit card and I signed up in the truck and that's how I got started in network marketing. I didn't know anything really about the products. I, I knew that they worked and I knew they were solid because I had taken a quick look at a video, but I was like, this is a way that I can make some money. But I, tr I my buddy was excited, um, who I, I trusted him. Um, I, I got on a third party call with a third party uh, who validated the fact that it wasn't just Andrew and Ralph doing this. There was a, other people that were successful doing this that were making money with it. and. Also, I saw a system that was duplicatable that I could build. Essentially, if all I had to do, this is what I'm thinking in my head, is all, if all I have to do is just, if I get excited and I share this with people and I just introduce them to someone other than myself who's an expert and they're gonna sign up or they're gonna join us in what we're doing as a team, I'm like, I can do that, right? I don't have to be, I, I saw, I saw a duplicatable path right in front of me as I literally, the way that they got me started. And so they say in this business that how you get birthed into the business is how you bring other people into the business, right? So if I had gone to a big event, I would have been thinking, well, I need to bring all my friends to a big event. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Um, you know, or if I joined at a weekly meeting, I would want to join at the weekly meeting, but I joined, um, on, on, a, on a, a, a quick phone call from a friend, watched a video, saw, saw like a, you know, a, a very brief, you know, three-way call set up and I had a three-way call and that's how, so what do you think I did? I, I decided, okay, well, how does the compensation plan work? How do I make money? And I realized I just got to introduce friends to this and I was going to make money. So that's what I did. So I'm building my insurance business and I'm working really, really hard and I'm making like enough to get by and I'm seeing that if I'm, selling and building my business like Jim Rohn. Anyone know Jim Rohn? Yeah. Jim Rohn says you work full-time on your job and part-time on your fortune, right? And I didn't really, ha I hadn't gotten that mentorship or read his books yet, but that's essentially what I started doing. And when I heard that later, I was like, man, that's, that's literally perfect because so many people are like, ah, I have a job already or I'm busy or I have a family or whatever. It's like, if you can catch the vision of something bigger that you can work on part-time, it's really powerful. So what I was doing was I was selling and I was building my business in, in the insurance industry. I was a sales manager. I had a team to take care of. I had to train them. I had to, I had to build that business. But at the same time, in the cracks of the day, as I was driving to meetings or if I was in the evenings or a lunch or whatever, I was building my network marketing business. And what happened was, was that I, I really caught the vision of what was possible in this industry. Cause I got, I went to a meeting and I saw people that were making 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month, 30 grand a month. I think the highest paid person in Canada in our, in that particular company was making about 30 grand a month. And I looked at this dude making 30 grand a month. And I was like, if this guy can make 30 grand a month, I know I can definitely make 30 grand a month. Like that was where that's, that's what happens when you go to events is you get around people and you see the other people that are doing it. And you're going like, if these people can do it, why can't I do it? Right. So I, I went to that first event. Um, I, 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 I carpooled it with like seven people in an SUV. It was an eight hour drive. We slept in my buddy's, um, uh, aunt's house. We just all crashed at this house. And this was back in the day when like you had to wear a, a shirt and tie to these meetings. 
So I was like wearing a shirt and tie and like go to this meeting and I walk in and there's like, I don't know, four or 500 people there. And I'm just sitting there and I could just see how excited these people were. And I realized like, th this is actually an industry. This is actually like a, a, a an industry that, that exists in the marketplace that companies, this is a business model that companies use to get products and services to customers. So I decided, well, I need to learn about this industry because I just learned about the insurance industry and I, I was doing well in that. I broke the company sales record that I, the company I was working for. And I was like, man, I'm, 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 I'm getting this, 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 this vision of, or this idea in my mind, this belief system that anything was possible, right? Because I was studying successful people. I started reading some books and doing personal development. And I realized that if I could have success in the insurance industry, I could have success in network marketing. And that's a clue for you guys. Like if you're taking notes, just think about one thing you've had success in, right? Like have you had success in sports? Have you had success in music? Have you had success in business? Have you had success in being a father or a mom? Have you had success in, you know, something? Just think about something that you've done well at and just know that the only reason why you did well at it was probably because you just learned how. You know what I mean? Like, like Matt Rosa, who's a, uh, making a million a month in this company that we're in, he says, don't get enamored by the leaders that are making all the money and say like, oh my gosh, there must be something special about these people. Just understand that they're just people that took the time to learn the skills that they needed to learn in order to actually have the success that they have, right? And so the fact that you guys are here on a Sunday is cool because it's like you're investing in yourself to learn some skills and hopefully catch, you know, something that's going to help you, you know, take this and actually go, you know, become really successful and make money with this, but also help and impact a lot of other people along the way. And when I saw this industry, I realized that, you know, A, I knew I could learn it and I could do well at it if I put the time in. And B, that if other people could do it, so could I. And C, the more people I help, the more money I make. And I think it, that's why I believe it's the perfect business as well. Like we talk about all the external things, like yeah, there's time freedom and I, I build this whole business, like they call this a home-based business industry, but I call it a phone-based business. Because I could be at the grocery store, which I am at the grocery store sometimes, and I'm on the phone building the business. I'm driving to work, I'm building the business. I'm, I'm on the way to a meeting, I'm texting someone building the business. If you have a smartphone, you can build this business. You know what I mean? You don't have to be, you don't have to have a fancy office with fancy screens, you don't have to be, uh, you know, everything does not have to be perfect. If you have an hour a day, you can build it. And that's the cool thing that I've done, you know, with our team over the last four years is like, when I caught the vision, like, did you guys like that video that Ty played? It's pretty sweet, right? That, that was Arizona convention. The first convention I went to was in Dallas. And I remember going to that convention and I remember sitting there in the crowd and it wasn't so much for me like, okay, cool. I can learn how to trade Forex. Cause I didn't know anything about that at the time. I didn't know what Forex trading really even was. I just was like, I'm going to go to an event and check this out. And that's what I've been telling everyone is if you want to build this at a high level, you have to get to a big convention so you can really catch the, the energy and the vision and build your belief in really what this is on a bigger level. But I was sitting in the crowd and what I felt was I felt people, I saw people that were empowered and I could feel a feeling, the feeling of becoming empowered, just being in that environment. You know, like you see the people on the screen, like the, the, the owners and the educators and the chairman and a lot of the people, the people in the crowd and people are excited. And I, I was like, I haven't seen people this excited genuinely and genuinely feeling like I'm sitting there talking to people and People are like, yeah, I learned how to trade and yeah, I'm making money and hey, yeah, I'm building the business and yeah, I'm doing this and doing that. And I'm literally having conversations with people. And I'm like, this vision of empower, enrich and educate, which really is the vision of what our company, this is what our company is really all about. It's not about trading. And that's what I learned at this event was the vision is the thing that has kept the company going. Because if you look at trading, there's lots of places you can go learn how to trade. Right. I think we have the best platform because you get access to 200 professional mm -hmm. traders and go live. No one else has go live, um, which is why our, our traders have so much success. But when you, I caught the vision and I saw that this vision was actually being lived out and then I tied it to, you know, um, my belief that I could have success in this industry this was four years ago, I saw this, I decided, I made, I made a decision. I made a big, big decision. 
And that's the other thing that happens at big events is you make big decisions at big events. But if you guys are, are, are writing down anything and taking notes, hopefully you can take some notes on your phone if you don't have something to take notes with. But the first thing that you want to understand is that this is the vision of the company, but you have to make a decision that you're going to build this business. Because if you make a decision, once you make a decision, that's when everything moves. It's like people are, that are trying to figure out, well, can I get to Croatia? <laughs> and they're budgeting, they're, they're, they're basing their decision on the price of the, the trip. It's like, well, can I afford the plane ticket? And they're trying to find a plane ticket that's cheap. And then once they find a plane ticket that's cheap, and I've done this, trust me, <laughs> we're all the same. I come from the same exact place. It's like, if you're trying to make a budget pick make a decision based on the cost of something versus making a decision and saying it's happening and i'm going to do it right that's when things shift and and resources come to you and people and opportunities and things will start to change there's a john maxwell quote about that i won't i won't paraphrase it because i you know I, I i just i see it in action every single day the people that make decisions to build this business do really really well like the reason why ty's done well is not because he has the most time or the most resources or, you know, the, the highest level of skill. He's learned the skill along the way and he's continuing to get better every single day, but he's doing it because he made a big decision that he was just going to make it happen. He's got four kids. He's working a job on the side. He's got all kinds of stuff on the go. He's got a huge community of people that already rely on him and depend on him, but he's doing this in the five minutes. While he's making his kids breakfast, he's on the phone. You know what I mean? While he's driving to work, um, he's doing calls, right? When he puts his kids to bed, he's doing Zoom calls. So he made a decision that he was going to do this and go all the way to the top. But the reason he made the decision is because he caught the vision. So I want you guys just to, I hope this is making sense. Are you guys tracking with me so far? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so vision plus decision. So my story about, you know, why, how I got started in the industry, I, I'm going to kind of tie it all into this training because I want you guys to understand this is a really simple business. Like the reason I'm in this room right now is because of my friend got excited. He didn't know everything about the business. He had just signed up that day. So he signed up that day. He was excited, which is also a clue. You're never going to be more excited than the day you enroll. <laughs> You know, that's when you're the most excited. So that's the best time to build a business is the day you enroll, go get your three people that day. Don't wait three years, three months, three weeks to figure it all out first. You're excited. People want to join people that are excited. You know what I mean? So he got excited. He got me on the phone with a friend or, or introduced me to a friend. That guy introduced me to an expert. And I said, sheesh, this makes sense. And I made a decision and I got started. And I got to about $2,000 a month in that company. And I realized that it wasn't the company that I wanted to be a part of. And that was a crazy thing for me to decide. I remember this conflict of like, I'm making this money, but I don't want to be a part of this business because of some things that had happened. And I made a decision to leave that company, but I had fallen in love with network marketing because I saw the vision of where it could go long-term. I had friends that were making six figures a year, had a, a lady, a friend of mine making a couple million dollars a year. And I was like, dang, like this is a real, this is real. And I had started studying it and I found my first mentor in that company though. And he taught me a lot of stuff and his name was Chris. And what he taught me was he taught me the basic system of how to build this business, which is just PS4 or some people call it PS3. I call it PS4. So we're going to get into that. Um, I do need to stick to my notes though, because I don't want to keep you guys here. Green's not showing up on the video. What's that? Green just not showing up on the... So black? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's switch to black. We were doing it for the spring box. <laughs> spring box won't be able to watch the video. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over this again real quick. Thinking. And what I want to... I want you guys to just, as you're sitting there, I want you to there just think to yourself. Is this showing up? Yeah. Think to yourself... Have I caught the vision of this yet? Maybe you're new and you're just, you're, I know there's a few people in here that are brand new and you're like, what the heck is this even? And who is this guy? So <laughs> don't worry. Um, I'm going to hopefully tie it all together for you guys. But if you're in the business already, just ask yourself, like, have I really caught the vision? And if you haven't caught the vision, you need to put yourself in an environment where you can catch the vision because vision is caught. It's not taught. 
Like if you're writing notes, put down, vision is caught, it's not taught. I can't teach you the vision. I can't teach you this. You have to catch it for yourself. So um, once you catch the vision, you can make a decision. So that's, that, that rhymes, that's actually really good. Um, I'm gonna use that again. So I'm gonna go through the basics, okay? So the why, the list, and, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna talk about PS4, we're gonna talk about the why and goals. And then we're going to talk about, uh, yeah, we're going to start with that. Okay, so this is the cool thing about this is this industry has created so many millionaires. This industry has created so many people that have had freedom. For me, I've been able to live my dream, which is traveling the world and helping people and having a good time and living a lifestyle that I always saw in my mind of like, you know, I could be on a plane all the time. I could go to beautiful places. They had amazing re hotels, eat at amazing restaurants and do something that I love to do that was fulfilling where I could wake up every day excited. That was the vision that I had. And I was like, I'm committed to trying as many things as I need to until I find that. And then I'm gonna sacrifice and do what I need to do to learn how to become successful in that. But along the way, what you find, what you find is that it has to be bigger than you. You know, it has to be bigger than you. I think everybody, I heard a guy speak one time and he said, everybody in the world wants three things. They want to know a secret. They want to be a part of something bigger than them. And they want to feel special, right? And I realized that, you know, this business is a, has to be bigger than me for it to be something that is going to, to really pull me or push me to where it is that, that I'm going. Because if I'm just like, I want to make money, like, oh, I, I want to make a thousand dollars a month or whatever, or 10,000 a month whatever my goal is or your goal is, or you know, when I started, I realized it had to be bigger than me. So your why is really the fundamental, that's really the fundamental thing. Like I was even talking to a prospect today on a three-way call and she was like, well, you know, trading and how much can I make and you know, percentages and guarantees and, and asked me all these questions. And I just said like, why do you wanna do it? You know, like why do you want to have a vehicle like this that you could use to go out and create something better for yourself. Like what's behind it? You know, is it time freedom? Is it your kids? You know, why stands for it will help you because it will help you in the times when you got to wake up early. It'll help you in the times when you're struggling to, you know, pick up the phone. It'll, it'll, it'll help you when, you know, your, 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 your trades, you're going through a time of consolidation in your trading account, or maybe you're going through a time of consolidation in your business because that happens too, right? it's not always straight up. So if you figure out the why, like for me, when I got started, my why was to get out of debt. I'll be honest. I just wanted to make money. I was a hundred thousand in debt or more, a little bit more. And I was like, I just want to get out of debt and I want to start investing and I want to start putting this education to you so I could actually learn trading and I could get ahead of where I was. So my, in, in the beginning, my why was just to make money. But once I started making money, I realized it had to be something bigger than me. So, you know, if you make your why other people, that, that could be powerful. Like for me, you know, my parents don't have a retirement. I want to retire my parents. You know, for some people it's, it's your kids. Like your wife maybe is, is your son or your daughter or your kids, or maybe it's your spouse, whatever it is. But once you get clear on your why, then you're like, okay, well, you know, this business is the, the like Ty, like Ty's why I can tell is his family, right? There's probably even more to it than that, but I, I I'm not, I don't want to speak for him, but I can tell you that he, he, he will go about, he'll do anything it takes for his family, for his kids, right? And those of you guys that have kids, you're probably in the exact same boat. Am I right? So make your why about something bigger than you, because then what happens is, is then you could say, well, let, let's, let's take it from like the why to what's the goal. And, and what I realized in this business, what, one of the reasons I love it is because it's limitless. You know, I remember looking at different careers and different jobs and looking at like, these lists of careers and it would be like architect, bartender, barber, carpenter, you know, drilling, you know, all these things, engineer, anyone ever seen those lists when you were in school? I remember my, I was in high school and I remember my, my uh, career counselor, who was really just a salesperson, <laughs> sat down with me and was like, let's pick a career for you. And then let's make it plan. And I was like, that sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to, that, that was like, here's a box. You pick the box and then you slide in the box and then you stay in that box. And that's your life. That's, that's what I was seeing in my head. Cause I'm like a, I'm like a creative out of the box, like thinker. 
I did art when I was a kid. I used to collect, you know, stuff. I used to like have side hustles. I was, I was just like, I was doing eBay when I was like 13. I saw people that had businesses. I had this crazy thing. And I think kids today are even more like, like they, they even think that way even more now. I think I was, you know, I'm a millennial, but at the same time, it's like, I saw that there must be a different way and a better way. And when I, when I really got down to brass tacks, I wanted something that was limitless, that didn't have a cap on it. Because as soon as you put a cap on something, as soon as you say, okay, I can make 45 grand a year, or I can make 100,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Then I started researching tax brackets and realizing that the more money you make, the more you get taxed, <laughs> which is also a scam, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then it was like, you know, I looked at my parents and I'm like, well, my parents have been working their whole lives at jobs and they're broke. So that doesn't make any sense. And I just started putting all these pieces together and I was like, there's gotta be a better way to do it. So I'm like, if I could find something that's limitless, that's why trading, and, and, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and make a statement here and I'm not gonna use any kind of um, numbers because I'm not, the numbers don't matter. Just know that there's people in our team that have made more in one trade than some people make in a year. And it's crazy. I, I didn't understand trading when I got started. I just knew it was powerful. But what I've experienced, what I've seen in the last year is insane. Like I've taken a small amount of money, a medium amount of money. You know, I, I took, you know, one time I took one call on go live and I put $5,000 into a crypto that turned into like $60,000. And I didn't do anything except just follow what the educator told me to do. You know what I mean? And, and I, I see people out there, you know, working jobs at, at restaurants and I, I drive by guys, you know, that are, that are, you know, painting houses or painting hotels. And I think I used to work in restaurants. I used to, 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 to do construction work. Like I see people that are doing what I used to do and I just go, there's a better way. That's why I'm so passionate about this business is because with trading, which is one of our products, if you're a guest <coughs> watching this or if you're a guest in the room, just know that trading education, I'll change it to this because it's not actually trading, it's education. There's no guarantees. We don't have any bots or auto traders or you know brokers or anything like that. It's education to teach you to trade, but trading is limitless. That's, the, that's where I'm going with this is trading is limitless. The other reason why I love our other product offering, which is travel, is because travel is essentially limitless. You can go anywhere in the world. Like I've been to, uh, last year I went to Dubai. If you haven't been to Dubai, put it on your bucket list. And you can go there with TLX for free if you just keep your subscription long enough. You'll get there for free. Um, if you haven't been to, you know, Costa Rica, if you haven't been to Africa, if you haven't been to, you know, Victoria Falls, right? I was talking to someone about that today. If you haven't traveled and seen the world, your mind hasn't ex fully expanded to what's possible in life. And, and, and travel gives you a, a limitless sense of, of adventure and a limitless sense of like what, what you could really do and where you could go and who you could become because you start to experience different people and different things in different places. And this is our other product. So we have trading education, we have travel. So the other thing that we have, which obviously is why we're all here today, is we have the business. Now the business is also limitless. There are people in the business right now making, can't spell, a million dollars a month. They're like Matt Rosa, Alex Morton, you know, Jason Brown, the top leaders in this business are making seven figures a month. I did the math one time on what my dad makes in a year at his job and he's in his 60s and Alex Morton makes in one month what my dad makes in 20 years. So my dad makes $50,000 a year and Alex makes a million a month. Is that right? Is my math right? Yeah. Right? I'm terrible at math. You don't have to be good at math to do this. Does that make sense? $50,000 a year times 20 is what? Another 10 years, 20 years. Yeah. So Alex makes in one month what my dad makes in 20 years. So wouldn't it be prudent of me to learn how to build this business and to just be like, I don't care what it takes. I'll do whatever it takes because I don't want to be in my sixties and be broke like 95% of the world. I think the energy drinks kicking in, yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy because like, 
I literally look at this and I'm like, trading education is limitless. I know people that are, dude, I know traders like, they are just absolutely crushing it in trading, but they took the time, they learned the skill set, right? Like all of this comes down to skills. Like this is just skills. ES4, how to build a business is skills. Trading is a skill. Learning to build a business is a skill. And if you can learn the, the, how to trade, which takes time, if you want to learn to trade, you don't have to learn to trade, but if you decide to learn to trade, it's a skill that'll take you from where you are to where you want to go and stay with you for the rest of your life. I just had a guy in the team text me and say, hey, bro, um, I, again, it was a BNI thing. I met his wife at BNI. Um, she was doing some kind of marketing thing. And I phoned him when I found this business and I said, hey, I don't know if you're into trading education or learning new skills, but I found this really cool academy I'm a part of. I don't know if it would be a good fit for you or not, but if I sent you a video, would you take a look and maybe I can give you a call back tomorrow? That's the invite. That's, it's called inviting. That's the first skill is pique. Pique someone's interest. And I'm gonna go through that in a second. But I just invited them. I just said, hey, I found something. Don't know if it would be a good fit for you or not. Maybe, maybe not. If I send you a video, could I get on the phone with you tomorrow and talk about it? She was like, sure, my husband's looking for something. Her husband texted me when I was getting off the flight, I was in Aussie um, flying here. And um, I get this text from him and he just said, hey bro, like two years ago, I got started in the academy. I've learned to trade. Um, we just retired and moved to Costa Rica. I just wanna say thanks. I'm like, I forgot he was in the team because I never hear from this guy. I never hear from this guy ever. He's just like doing his thing. He's just trading. He doesn't build a business. He doesn't get on the team calls. He doesn't communicate with me. He's just doing his thing. And I just, I knew that they were doing okay. I knew he was like in the academy. But when he texted me that, I was like, man, that, like, that's what this can do for you, right? Is you can literally set yourself up with trading education. Now with travel, this is why, you know, the, the company incorporated travel was because travel is, the biggest industry in the world. Everybody wants to travel more. If we could give people free trips every year, which no other travel club in the world is doing, then why wouldn't we bring that in as a, as a, as a, a vertical? And now it's the number one product in, in the company is everybody that is either trading already is adding it on or new customers are starting with the empower pack, which is this trade and travel together. So if you're wondering how to build this business and have a long-term business that is going to have high retention, keep people happy, keep people excited and give people the most value. You need to have travel and you need to be using it and you need to be getting your team on the travel club. Now, what we're gonna talk about tonight is this, because we're not all here gonna make a million a month. I don't make a million a month yet. I'm gonna make a million a month. That's my goal is to get to the top of the comp plan. But again, it's, it's a goal, right? Your goal, goal, if you're writing this down, goal stands for go out and live. So if you're looking at your why, we're going to come back to this. I'm kind of jumping around. But if we come back to this, the why. So say your why is your kids, your family, other people, my parents. I created this vision in my mind of this family vacation that I want to do. This is called a bright future. If you ever have heard the term, of, anyone heard the term bright future? Yeah. yeah. It's like a, it's a term that, you know, was coined by a guy that teaches uh, on success and personal development and stuff. I created this, this, this bright future in my head of me taking my whole family, my, my sisters, their kids, my parents, maybe even uncles, aunts, grandparents, putting them all on a private jet and flying them somewhere for an all expense paid trip with chefs and you know a boat captain and a boat and all this stuff, jet skis. And I, had a, I was meditating one time and I saw me and my nephew on this jet ski with my sister just cruising around in this water, right? So I'm visualizing it, I'm seeing it, I've created this vision now of something I wanna do in the future for my family, right? My goals uh, behind why I'm doing this business is one, to retire my parents is one of my goals. And so if I look at, you know, well, my why has to be connected to my goals, I set a really big audacious goal that I wanna have that type of freedom and financial ability and, you know, all that stuff so that I can go and create something like that and create that kind of an experience once in a lifetime thing for my family. Why do you think I'm inspired to do that or who inspired me to do that? Well, Matt Rosa, who's at the top of this business, at the top of this comp plan, he's been in the industry for 10 years. He was uh, working in a restaurant, making 600 bucks a month the first year he got started. The second two years he got started, he was making 2,000 a month. So for one year he made 600 a month, didn't quit, hit 2,000 a month, 
couldn't break through, went a whole nother year, two years total, making two grand a month, didn't quit. That's, a, that's another key. <laughs> and then continued, and then eventually he hit Chairman 10, Chairman 25, Chairman 50, Chairman 100, Chairman 750. He took his whole family on an all expense paid private jet vacation to Mexico and did the whole thing. And I watched him do it on social media. And I'm like, dude, I, this guy, this guy was literally like working at a restaurant, making 600 a month in the business when he got started. And I've seen him, you can go scroll back on his Instagram for 10 years and be like, okay, you can see the, the progression in the journey and now see who he is today. I'm like, well, if he can do that, so can I. So I'm setting that as a goal, right? So when you set your goals, don't think small because if Matt Rosa can do that, then I can do that. If I can do that, you can do that. If we, if we look at this business, again, remember it's limitless, right? I'm gonna erase a couple things. Do we have that eraser? It's on that couch just over there. Over here. If we, if we, if we think about, if we really think about like, you know, what, what do we really want? That's where it all begins. And then network marketing is just a vehicle to get us to what it is that we want. So what goal can you write down right now? And we're going to break down goals. That's my C type. That's my big goal. What's my short term goal. My short term goal is to get to chairman hundred. That's my short term goal. Your short term goal might to get be, be to get to P P 600 or P 1000. So maybe your goal right now is P P 1000. Maybe you want to make a thousand dollars a month. Maybe you want to make $600 a month. Whatever your goal is by the end of say, by the end of this year. So by the end of 2023, write down whatever you have to write down, uh, take notes on, write down your goal for the end of this year. So what's your goal financially by the end of 2023? Maybe it's 600 a month. Maybe it's a thousand, maybe it's 2000, maybe it's 5,000, maybe it's 10,000. And that's, that's the compensation plan, right? You go from, you go from 600 to a thousand, 2000, 5,000, 10K, and then you go Chairman 50, Chairman 100, and this is per month, this number, 1,000 per month. So you start here and you build it, right? I'm skipping P150 because if, if you can go P150, you can go P600. So I like P600. So, you know, pick your goal by the end of the year and then tie something to your goal that's attached to your why. Like think about like, what would an extra thousand a month do for your family? What would an extra 5,000 a month do for your family, right? And if you could, or, or your, not just your family, your why. And then tie that in together. Because I think, you know, so many people get lost in this thing because they just, they get caught up in, it's about them, number one. But number two, if it's all about you, but you have a short-term vision, like the, the Bible says, and I'm not a preacher, but the Bible says, without vision, people perish. So you have to have a vision for your life, right? If you don't have a vision for your life, a vision will overtake you. That, that, that's, that's facts. So if you have a vision, like my vision, I can see it in my mind. When I close my eyes, I see the vision of where I'm going. And the, the vision keeps moving further and further and further and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Because once I found a vehicle that was limitless, I realized that now I could be limitless in the way that I dream. And that's something that a lot of people talk about when they come up and they say like, well, here's my testimony or here's my story or here's, you know, why I'm excited is because most of us and me included, we put our dreams on the shelf for a long time. You know, when I got started in this business, I was just like at this point, man, where I was like, man, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to have the, the time freedom, the financial freedom, be able to travel the world, be able to, to, to live this, this life I want to have and really scale something, a business that could really help and impact a lot of people and give me fulfillment. I don't know if I'm going to find that thing and I doubted it, but I, I held on to it. And every time I would doubt it, I would hold on to it. And I'm so grateful that I did that. And a lot of it was just because I was, I was seeing people around me that were, that were further along than me. And so when I found I am, and I realized this is limitless trading, network marketing, the, the, the network, the relationships, like all those things, it's limitless. I realized that now I could take those dreams and I could pull them off the shelf and I could say, you know what, maybe I, maybe I actually could have that, that dream. And maybe I actually could live that life, you know? And that's the thing that, that I think is so inspiring for so many people. And I am is, is just, there's other, there's a million ways to make a million bucks and not, I mean, this isn't the only way to get to your hopes and dreams. This is just the best thing that I've ever found. And I've never seen more people winning. 
that's the other reason why, you know, you come to an event like Croatia and you're just going to see thousands and thousands and thousands of people winning. I was on the phone. Was I on the phone with you guys when I was talking about my team, how I'd never seen so many people on my team making money? Yeah. Like I've never seen so many people in my team, in my organization that are having success that as when I came here. Like Jay, I remember his first day, he's like, I got to $1,000 in a day and then I got to 10 grand in a day trading. And, you know, I've helped people make six figures, multiple six figures in this business. It's like, you know, we're all, we're all winning together at the same time. And that's the beauty of it. So why and goal card? Are you guys, um, who's got their goal written down just now? Okay, cool. Now, do you have something, as soon as you get home tonight, do you have something, if you have a binder or a notepad, you can even use the corner of your notepad, just write it down. You wanna write down a goal card and you wanna have a goal card with you in your pocket. So you wanna have something, I have my goal card with me. So what you wanna do is you wanna write your goal on a card and you wanna carry it with you because if you can carry your goal with you, this is something Bob Proctor taught me. He said, the first time I, I, I saw Bob Proctor speak, he said, the reason why most people don't have what they want is because they don't know what they want. And I was like, he, he could have just put the mic down and walked off the stage at that point. Cause I was like, that's literally, that's everything. Like if you really sit and go, what do I really want? You may not know, you know, that was me at the time. I was like, I don't really know. Like I want to make more money. I want to, you know, and everybody wants to make more money. Everybody wants more freedom, but like get really clear on what you want and then just say, this is what I'm going to do. And you write it down in present tense. So your goal card should say, I'm so happy and grateful now that I am earning a thousand a month, 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, whatever. My first goal was 10,000 a month. So I wrote down my goal card. I put it in my pocket and that's, that's really all I'm going to say about goals. We're going to move on. But if you get really clear on your goal, you put it on a card, you carry it with you. I can tell you guys this, that was four years ago. Every goal I've written down on a card has happened. It's crazy. Every single one. And I'm not like bragging to be like, oh, I, I've had all this success. I'm telling you, I didn't know anything about that four years ago. And I was always felt like I was chasing this, 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 this goal post that kept moving. And Bob Proctor was like, dude, just pick something, get it done and then pick something else. Because we live in this world of information where information is coming at us from all these different places. And, and focus is a superpower. Like if you can focus on one thing and be like, I'm just gonna go after this one thing, it will happen. The problem is, is you kind of start, you do three days of going towards one thing and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna go over this way. And then you're like, oh, I should learn how to do DeFi and NFTs and you get lost in Twitter for a month. And then you come back and you're like, oh, I'm gonna learn how to trade over here, right? And you go and you do TBX and you go eight hours a day in TBX and you don't build your business. And then you go like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I got caught up in this Netflix show and I'm gonna go over here and you just get distracted. When it's like, if you just focused on your goal every day and you were like, I'm gonna do this till it's done, it happens. You get to decide how fast or how slow you wanna go. So that's what I'm gonna break down is how to go fast or how to go slow. So I'm gonna teach you guys that. But first thing that you have to do when you're building a business, any business, is you have to have the list. So I'm gonna erase this in a second, but. The list is next. So when you're, you, you think about any business, you think about any team, sports team, spring box, the women's world cup, think about the women's world cup. Okay. Cause the finals happening tonight. That's why we got to finish and I can't talk too long. Cause we won't, some of us won't watch the game. Um, does anyone want to watch the game? Is anyone watching the game later? Okay. A couple people. So think about the women's world cup. So you've got these teams, now these teams are sitting, the, the owners of the team or the managers of the team, they're sitting in an office somewhere, right? Or they're sitting around having beers or they're having these conversations and they're going, who are we putting on the list to be on our World Cup team, right? They build a list. If you think about um, a church, which is an organization, right? And they go, okay, who are we gonna have on staff? Who do we wanna have on staff at our church to fulfill the vision of our church and the mission of our church? They build a list of people and then they recruit them right? Or they have conversations with them. Companies, right? Like, who, you know, people that work, I heard a guy talk today that's in recruitment. He's in a, he's literally a recruiter for a company. They have lists of jobs they need to fill and they go recruit people to fill those jobs. Any business, any organization, any sports team, 
it all starts with the list. So if you're going to build a business, you have to understand that if you don't have a list, you don't have a business. You have to start with that. And so when I first got into this, I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to recruit. I recruited my girlfriend at the time who I knew was going to be, you know, who was going to bring in some, some of her friends. I recruited my, my college buddy. I recruited, uh, you know, a buddy from the office, you know, a few people. I didn't know about the list. I didn't have any training. I was just like, Hey, I found something cool. You guys should do it with me. But when I really learned about this and Matt Rosa teaches on this, I'm going to show you guys how to make it simple. It just clarifies everything. All right. So the list is three lists of five that never die. So you don't want to have a list of 500 people. I'm not going to tell you, Hey, go put a list of 500 people together because no one's going to do that. And if you do do that, props to you, but now you just spent a month building your list and you didn't get anything else done. This is something you can do right now as you're sitting there or tonight when you get home, you can build a list, three lists of five. So it's the three lists of five that never die. So you have your, your flat tire friends. I'm going to go quick because some of you guys have seen this before, but I just want to make sure that I, I get this. Then you have your influencers. And then you have your uh, flat tire friends, influencers, and then you have your acquaintances. Excuse my writing. Can you guys read that? Okay, flat tire friends. So flat tire friends, who are your flat tire friends? If you're in, in, a, in a bind, you, 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 you know, like one time I put gas in my diesel truck, it's 1 a.m. in the morning, who do I call? Flat tire friend, good friend of mine, someone that's gonna be there for me if I need them in a pinch. So if you gotta help, uh, say you're moving, say you're a guy and you're moving, and you, who are your buddies that you call to help you move? Those are your flat tire friends, right? If you're a lady, like Matt says, who are you gonna call to get you off that bad blind date that you're on, <laughs> right? That's your flat tire friends. Or who, who are the people, if let's say that, you know, you, it was uh, the middle of winter and you know, your, um, you know your, your car breaks down and you're in the middle of nowhere. Who are you gonna call to come pick you up? It's probably not gonna be your mom. It's probably gonna be, uh, you know, somebody that you know really well, they know you really well, there's trust there. Right. So that's a, that's five people. And as soon as you, you know, you go through, say you cross a name off, you just, you, you add one more and you continually have that list until you, when you run out of flat tire friends, just put the people that know you the best and trust you the most. That's easy. Now your influencers, these are not people that have tons of followers and have a, a blue check mark or anything like that, because people could, you could buy that if you wanted to. These are people that actually have influence over something. So people that have had success in something is the way that I like to do it. So Think about people that, you know, they're, they're good people. They, they want to help people that they, they have some influence. Maybe they're a leader in something. Maybe they're a leader in sports, in their community. Maybe they're a leader in your business. Think about people that maybe they're a real estate agent. They're an insurance broker. They have some type of uh, business where people look at them and they go, this person is professional. They're successful, right? Those are influencers. And then your acquaintances, these are people that you, maybe you meet at the, at the pub or at, you go to the same restaurant or you met them at a vacation on a holiday, on a cruise. Um, you met them at work. Like I meet people when I'm traveling all the time and I just get their information and then I just connect with them on social media. I'm like, Hey, what's your WhatsApp? Give me your Instagram. Right. And acquaintances, this is one I'm going to give you guys a real quick, like in 60 seconds, how to never run out of acquaintances. Does anyone want to learn how to never run out of people to talk to? Okay. So number one, we kind of, we kind of did this last time. I, I kind of seeded this with you guys before you pay them a compliment. You, when you meet someone, you pay them a compliment. That's the first thing. So I could be walking by someone in a mall. Don't know them from Adam. Literally just walk up and be like, Hey, I really like your shoes. I used to have a white pair like that. When's the last time, a, when, when's the last time a stranger paid you a compliment? When's the last time a stranger paid you a compliment? When they wanted to sell me this product. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, exactly. Exactly. But think think about it. Like, do people just randomly give you compliments? No. And if someone does give you a compliment, then you're probably going to be like, oh, I immediately like this person. Right? Then the next thing you do is you ask them a question. Right? So you just, you, you meet, give someone a compliment, ask them a question. You can meet, and obviously they got to look like somebody that maybe you would like to know or somebody you like to do business with someone that's sharp, someone that looks like you, they'd be someone to have a good person to have in your network. You're not going to go pitch them a product day one. You're just looking to build, build relationships, grow your network. Like I do this all the time. I'm like, and I, now I do it subconsciously. I don't even think about it, but I'll just pay someone a compliment. Hey, do you know what time the restaurant closes at? 
Oh yeah, it closes at 10. Okay, cool. Where, where are you from? You know, you ask someone two, three, four or five questions. Now you're interested in them. Now, what are they going to do? They're going to ask you, what do you do? Where are you from? Right? Where's your accent from? And then you, boom, you got a contact. You got an acquaintance. Well, listen, I got to run right now. Give me your WhatsApp. Hey, I got to run right now. Give me your Instagram. You will never, ever, ever, ever run out of people to talk to. People sometimes are like, oh man, my network, I, I, talk, I talk to everyone. I'm like, dude, get out of your house. Like <laughs> get off your ass, have a shower, leave your house, go meet some people. Well, how do I meet people? Pay them compliments, ask them questions. <laughs> it's, it's that easy. It's really not rocket science. And if you can get behind this idea of building what professionals, we talked about the other day, we talked about the amateur, right? We talked about the pro or the, 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 the poser. This is what we did the other day. We talked about the poser, amateur, and the pro, right? The pros have a list. It's called the active candidate. So you have an active candidate list. So think about you're running a sports team and it's a multi-million dollar sports team or it's a multi-billion dollar organization, right? Like you look at these professional sports clubs now and they're like, dude, like what are these guys paying these football players these days, man? It's absolutely insane. A couple hundred million dollars a year for a contract. Well, who are the people that's, that's the top of the list, but who are the people at the bottom of the list that are on the come up, right? Who are the players that are maybe in high school that they're scouting or they're in college that they're scouting or people, because when you're building a business and you're building a team that could potentially pay you a million dollars a month, don't you think you should have a, a running list of people that you've really taken the time to sit down and be like, you know what? These are the top five influencers that I know that if I partner with these people, like there's a guy in our team um, who got started. He, uh, he kind of knew what, what trading was. He had a little bit of experience with trading, but he went to Ty and he was like, can you imagine if I could get this one individual on our team? I don't know how I would do it. He's fully invested in everything else he's doing on the side. I don't know how I would even, and, and Ty was like, well, just write his name down on your list. There's power. I'm telling you guys right now, the reason why, you know, it, everyone's so caught up on their phones and it's cool, but pen and paper, there's something that happens energetically when you take a thought and you, that thought travels down your arm to a pen and you write it on paper. There's something that happens energetically, whether it's writing down a goal, whether it's writing a list, it's crazy. I've written names down, by the way, that guy did join the team and he's a huge part of this organization now, which is crazy because he had no, it was not a financially, um, it was not a financial decision. It was a, I know that this is, there's purpose here for me. And he came because he found purpose here that was bigger than what he was doing, you know, before. But the guy that brought him in was literally just like, he's an influencer. I know if he gets started and Ty said, put his name on the list. And what did we do? We invited him. We did a three-way call. He got started, right? <laughs> so when you, I've had people where I've written their name down on my list and they've called me. Yep. Yeah. It's an energy thing. It's crazy. So that's all I'm going to talk about the list because I want to keep it moving um, and, and, and keep going. The next thing is edification. So we're going quick here. We got PS4. I'm going to get, I'm going to come back to this at the top. We got the list. We got edification. And then we're going to go to PS4. So edification, like I said, this is the, uh, one of the other skills that you need to have in this business is this is how to create trust between two parties that don't know each other. Again, this one skill could make you a lot of money inside and outside of this business. Here's this quick story about edification. So Alex Morton, who is, you know, the goat in this industry, um, he is like 20, I don't know, 29, 30 years old at the time. And he had this health coach that he wanted to, that he was working with. And this guy is like one of the best of the best. And he was like, dude, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning from this dude. This dude, you know, goes through a tough time financially. Um, and Alex says, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to introduce you to someone that you don't know and doesn't know you. And maybe they could, you know, either partner with you or, you know, maybe invest in your company or whatever. So anyone heard of Grant Cardone? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Alex Morton introduced Gary Brecca, who was his health coach, to this guy named Grant Cardone, who he knew through business, and he had also invested in in um, in, in Grant's uh, foundation or, or his um, fund. 
So Grant knew who he was. So he said, hey, Grant, I'm getting you on the phone with this dude. Will you meet him? He's like, sure. He edified those two parties. He created trust between them. So he said, hey, Grant, here's how I know Gary. Gary, here's how I know Grant. Here's what I, you know, where I met them. Here's what I appreciate about them. Created trust there, introduced them. Grant ended up buying Gary uh, Breakfast Company, which is now doing like $10 million a month in revenue. And now they've opened a thousand offices around just, just in the US alone, it's called 10X Health. And Alex introduced those people. And now Alex, um, I don't know all the details and I, I never will, but he benefits in a very small way off of that relationship, off of that business that's now growing and scaling into millions of dollars. How did you learn how to introduce people like that? Network marketing. You know, I've introduced people that have done business together in, you know, a, a, a hemp company, a CBD company that my buddy is like, hey, I need, I need a partner. I was like, oh, I know someone. I got them on the phone, I edified them, I built trust between them, and I just said, hey, I wanna introduce you guys, whatever you guys decide to do, cool. Uh, solar business, friend of mine, hey, I need help with my solar company. Well, I know a guy in the solar industry, let me get you on the phone. Introduce them, created trust, edified them. So what I'm saying is this skill set will take you far beyond network marketing, but in network marketing, this is where, where we're gonna to go to the PS4. This is, you pique, <coughs> pique someone's interest, and I'm spelling peak wrong. It's actually P-I-Q-U-E, but we're just going to go with peak. Then you pass them a, a video or you, um, you know, you, you pass them to a resource or you pass them an invitation to look at this, right? So you peak, you pass, you plug them into someone else on a three-way call. And then you promote. This is the four skills if you want to make for your first, we'll call it your first thousand dollars a month in this business. You literally just have to do these four things. So you peak, you invite, you pass them uh, a video, a presentation, you, you, you show them the plan, whether you invite them to a meeting where we're doing like, we do weekly events now here, you could invite them to a webinar, you pass them in the face, into the Facebook group, you pass them an invite to, hey, here's a, a, a recording of a video, whatever. You plug them into a three-way call and then you promote them to, you know, the next event, you promote What's the next training? What's the next uh, um, convention? What's the next webinar? What's, what's the next go live call? Like you just promote them to the next thing. So when you plug them into the three-way call, that's where the edification comes in. Because let's say I invite Ty and um, I'm gonna get Ty actually to, to role play with me, I think, um, because he's amazing at it. Um, he's learned, but anybody can do this, right? So if I was gonna invite Ty um, to look at something and say that I'm gonna introduce him to Damon and he, Damon's my upline or Damon's my expert or my business partner, right? This is all you do to build this business. Like people say, well, you know, how do I get to, you know, how do I get to 600 a month? This is how you do it. You literally just, you invite people, you pique their interest, you pass them a video or something, or you get them, you pass them an invite to look at something that's gonna show them the opportunity, and then you plug them into a three-way call. So, you know, if I was gonna invite Ty, right? So come up here, Ty, for a second. Give Ty a, a, a round of applause. So if I'm going to invite Ty, okay, I, I'm, I say that Ty and I are friends. I just know him from, he, let's say he's a, an acquaintance of mine. I just met him. Um, say I, I, I met him at a, you know, at the gym, right? We met at the gym. So I call Ty and I'm on the phone, right? And the first thing you want to do when you're on the phone or when you're inviting is you want to be in a hurry. You don't want to call him and say, Hey, I want to explain to you how I learned how to trade or I want to tell you all about my travel club, or I want to tell you all about this opportunity. You want to just be in a hurry and you just want to get their peak, their interest. So I call Ty. I'm like, Hey, what's up, Ty? Hey, Rich. How's it going? Good, bro. Good. Hey, listen, I've only got a minute. I'm literally just about to get into the gym here, but dude, listen, um, what are you doing tomorrow night at seven 30? Oh man, not sure. Okay. Are you free tomorrow at seven 30? Do you have any plans tomorrow night? No, man, I'm good. You're yeah. free. Okay, cool. Well, listen, I just partnered with some amazing people and we're collaborating on this project tomorrow. We're having a meeting tomorrow night, a little get together. It's invite only just to whoever we, we think maybe might be a good fit to be a part of this with us. There's some money involved. There's an opportunity here to actually make some money with us. If I could get you a seat at that meeting, I could even probably pick you up. Would you come out tomorrow and check that out? Oh, maybe what's it about? Okay. So I don't have time. Like I said, to tell you what it's all about right now, because literally I've only got like 30 seconds, but if you trust me, if you come tomorrow, you'll see it. You'll get all your questions answered. And, you know, we're going to be talking about how to make money online. We're actually taking a trip to Mexico together. 
There's some really cool stuff that we're doing, but I promise you we'll get all your questions answered tomorrow. And, um, you know, if I, if I pick you up, would you come? Yeah, man. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay, bro. Listen, um, I got to run. I'll swing by and grab you tomorrow. Great. Thanks. All right. Bye. Got to go. Boom. Okay. So that's an invite to like a local meeting. So let's say you have a, a local meeting. There's a local meeting happening at Ruan's house every Wednesday or every Thursday, whatever it is, right? If you, if you're in Auckland, you just literally, you, did I say anything about, you know, trading or travel or, or network marketing or business or anything like that? I'm just getting him curious enough to take a look. Now, if I'm like, so let's say that I'm going to, let's say he lives in South Africa and I'm here. Okay. So he, this is now he, he we're going to do this over the phone. So I call him. This is even easier. This is so easy. So I'm going to call Ty. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, Rich. Hey, what, what's up, man? How are you? Good, man. How are you? Good, good, good. Listen, um, so uh, my kid is literally ripping apart my living room right now. So I got, and I got to go grab him and, uh, and, 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 and take care of that. So listen, I'm glad I got you though for one second. Um, so bro, listen, I found something. It's absolutely amazing. Not sure if it would be a good fit for you or not. It may be a good fit. It may not. But if I sent you a five minute video, could I just hit you back tomorrow after working to see if you liked anything about it? Oh yeah. What's that? What's this all about? So <laughs> bro, I got to run. The video is going to explain everything. Okay. I promise the video will explain everything tomorrow. I can take some time with you, answer your questions, you know, see if you liked anything about it, see what you like best about it. And, uh, and we'll go from there, but I'll, I'll shoot you the video. I'm probably going to add you to our private Facebook group as well. And then I'll call you back tomorrow when you're done work. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, bro. Gotta go. Bye. What am I doing? I'm piquing their interest. Now he's curious. He's like, what's it about? Right? So then what do I do? I pass him a video. I just literally send him a video and then I add him to the Facebook group. That's the other thing is you pass an invite to the, to a Facebook group where the Facebook groups are literally gold. Like you, the Facebook group <coughs> creates social proof. There's thousands of other people in the Facebook group. They're doing it. They're seeing testimonials. They're seeing, um, you know, Elaine's testimonial. They're seeing Bernice's testimonial. They're seeing Damon's testimonial. They're seeing everybody, all these people, Michael Jacobson, they're seeing, you know, Mario's testimonial. They're like, Oh my gosh, there's people actually having success with this. It's not just my buddy who has an idea and thinks that this is cool. There's thousands of people, there's people winning, right? So Facebook group is, is important because people have to build belief that this is real. If the one thing everyone's asking, is it real? Does it work? Can I do it? Right? So the Facebook groups are huge, but you pass them that you pass my video. And then when I call him back tomorrow, I call Ty tomorrow, right? Damon's my upline. Right. And he's, he's my, I, I like to say my business partner. I don't like to use the word upline because it, it it's, I like business partners more honoring. It's easier to, for people to understand. So I call Ty at like, say he's off work at five. Right. So I call Ty tomorrow and I just plug him into a three-way call. So I call him and I say, Hey bro, did you watch the video? He's like, yeah. I'm like, cool. Um, well let's do it real quick. So I call Ty. It's uh, what, what time, what time are we talking at after work? Five? No. Nah. 3 30. <laughs> 3 30. 3 30. Okay. Three. He's a banker. He's a banker. He gets off work at 3. Okay, so I call him. All right, ring, ring, ring. Hey, Rich. Hey, bro. What's going on? Oh, man. Just jumped in the car. What's happening? Dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited, bro. I, I know I sent you that video yesterday. Did you get a chance to see it? Yeah. Okay, perfect, bro. So listen, man, you and I go way back, right? We've known each other for a long time. Um, yeah, you and I, you know, uh, this is the thing is I, want, I really want you to catch the full picture and full perspective of what we're doing. And so what I wanted to do, I actually spoke with my business partner who I'm doing this with. This dude, man, is crazy busy. He's literally, he's traveling all over the place right now. He's making, uh, he, he makes money. I'm not going to go into that because it doesn't matter. But the reason he makes money with this is because he helps a lot of people have success. He's helping me have success. And I told him that you and I were going to be speaking. And he said, well, you know, I'd be willing to take 10 minutes and, uh, and actually meet, meet you because you and I are friends. So I told him we were going to be talking 3.30. He's actually available. Let me grab him real, real quick. I'm really excited to introduce you to him. Yeah, sweet. Okay, sweet. Awesome, bro. So then I get Damon on the phone. Hey, what's up, Damon? Hey, what's up? How is everything going? Good, man. Glad you could take the call, bro. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay, perfect. So listen, bro, I got, I got my friend Ty on the phone who I was telling you all about. And Ty and I go way back. We're friends from college. Uh, we actually, you know, uh, we met at the gym back in the day. You know, he's a good guy. Um, we, you know, we've been keeping in touch on Facebook. He's a dad. He's got four kids. He works really, really hard. He's got a great attitude. He's always smiling. Um, and, and he's just somebody that, you know, I'd love to do this with. And, um, and Ty, this is Damon, who I was just telling you all about. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, let you guys connect for a second. 
and uh, and I'll just uh, I'll be here uh, hanging out. So Damon, this is Ty. Ty, this is Damon. All right. So that's the three way. So what did I do? I edified him, and then I edified him, and then I just said, now I'm going to get out of the way and let them talk. So then Damon asked us from four questions. What do you like best about the video? You know, do you see yourself as a customer? Did you catch the vision of what we're doing through the video? All those things. That's a whole, I'm not going to go into the four questions right now. Just know that whoever you're plugging people into knows how to do the four questions. Mm -hmm. So it's super simple, super simple, duplicatable system. And then Ty's either going to say yes, or he's going to say no. Now, if he says no, cool. You know what, bro? Appreciate your time. Really, you know, stoke you're in the Facebook group. If you want to stay in there, kind of keep a pulse on what we're doing. Awesome. The next three to six months, just, just hang out and take a look and maybe we'll, we can chat later this year. If he says, I'm not ready or I don't know, or maybe I need more information, then I say, great, let me get you on to the next, uh, let me promote you to the next training. Let me promote you to the next call. Let me get you to the next event. Come to the weekly meeting. Come to uh, Croatia because, you know, you got a bunch of dough and, you know, you, you like going to warm places and going to the beach. So come to Croatia with me, right? I have brought, brought prospects to conventions before. It's like you literally just, you, you follow this system and now eventually, this is what Eric Worre always says, and this is something that you can really take a lot of comfort in, is that all we're doing is we're educating people and giving them the opportunity to see something enough to make an educated decision on whether this is right for them or not. It's not sales. If you, if you convince someone to sign up, you're gonna have to convince them to stay, yep. right? Because this, this, is, this is not a transactional thing. You're not like, hey, buy this speaker and if you buy it i make 20 bucks one time i could convince him to buy this speaker <laughs> <laughs> i could probably convince him right now to buy the speaker right that's a transaction this is not a transactional business so you're not looking to convince people that, that trading is amazing or convince them that they should be in a travel club or anything like that you know you gotta you gotta let people see that there's you're working with a team that's bigger than you there's experts there's people making money in this thing you got to have them catch the vision, which is why you, you want to have them exposed to testimonials, people who have been empowered. Why do we share stories? Why do people have to see like Ty by the end of, you know, in, in the next, literally next couple of days, he's going to hit a, a rank in the business where he's going to have tripled his income from when he started in this, in this business to just over two years ago. Do you think his life's going to be enriched at all by tripling his income? So do you think it's powerful that people hear Ty's story? Yeah. Yeah, because that builds belief in somebody when they're looking at this, they're going, is this real? Well, I could tell them all day long, like, bro, it's trading, it's travel, and that's just, that's facts. Facts tell, stories sell. People need to hear stories. That's why three-way calls are important. Three-way calls validate, it's called third-party validation. But then when you promote them into a Facebook group or you promote them into the next event, the next training, eventually you get to a place where you're like, dude, I've seen enough. Like I always say when I do presentations, my intention is to give you enough information to make a decision. So whether it's your first time seeing it or if you've seen it 10 times, I just want to give you enough information so you can make a decision to say, you know what? All right, I'm either in or I'm out. And if people say no, it's cool. Not everybody wants to get trading education. Not everyone wants to build a business. Not everybody wants to join a travel club, believe it or not, as crazy as it is, right? It's like people, you're, you're looking for the people that are looking for you. Like if you, if you, if you, if you're taking notes, you can write that down. You're looking for the people that are looking for you. The only way you're going to find the people that are looking for you is if you're willing to invite people to look at it and pique their interest. So Ty, like I'm going to keep you up here for a second. In the last two years, how many people have you peaked and put on a three-way call with me on average during say every week? Oh, like in a week, how many people week, do you usually put me on the phone with on average? Five to 10. Five to depending 10. on the week, never less than five, but sometimes five in a day, just depending on the week. Yeah. Right. There's been days when he's put me on the phone with five people. Now those are not hour long conversations. That doesn't take the whole day. Those are 15, 10, 15 minute conversations. Those are the three way calls. Now, how many people do you think you've talked to? How many people do you think you've peaked? It's hard to, it's hard to quantify the number. I'm sure. A couple hundred, 300 easy. 300 people. Yeah. Across. Two and a bit years. Okay. So over two, just over two years, you've talked to 300 people, probably more. I'd probably, say probably, probably, probably more. But there's, yeah, there's at least a couple hundred documented. And you would say probably every other person maybe is open-minded to at least looking. <laughs> yeah, totally. So maybe for every two people you talk to, 
you'd probably have one that says no and they're not open-minded to anything new, which is cool, and one that's open-minded to look. Easy. So then you pass them a video or a, a resource. You're not getting on Zoom and doing a private mm -hmm. presentation. You're just passing them a video. After you book the call with me, or whoever you're doing the call with, could be Greg, could be anyone. The third party call doesn't have to be the same person. It could be with anyone who's not you. That's the beauty of it. I put Ty on calls with people now, because he's so good. I'll just let him go there and be like, hey man, this is my business partner, Ty. It doesn't matter who, if, if the person's upline, downline, sideline, I put Shanda on calls, she's my cross line. I just use somebody else that's other than you. That's the whole purpose of the three-way. And then how many people have you promoted to into you know, events, this is an easy one, everyone. <laughs> he promotes to everyone. He's always promoting. So this is all he's, have you done anything else besides this basically? Present. I mean, I mean you've sure. done some presenting. But that's it, for the longest time, that's it. But you, you got to probably two grand a month without presenting. Yeah. yeah. Right, Just and now you're- presenting. Someone else is presenting on Zoom or in real life, whatever, right. and through that ages. And now you're starting to present you're starting to do events, you're starting to do, and you've been doing them for a while, but now it's like getting consistent to the point where now things are really ramping up. But all you've done is this right here, and he, guys, he's about to hit, like, uh, he's about to triple his income from what he was making when he started. So the whole purpose of this idea is really to, to just to show you guys that this is really, really simple. But if you talk to 300 people, right? Now you might be sitting there going, I don't even know 300 people. Well, if you make a list of 15, What's 300 divided by 15? Twenty. 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 Okay, cool. So in two years, right? In two years, do you think that you know every couple weeks? How many weeks is that? In two years, that's 52 weeks. That's 104 weeks. Is that right? Yeah. So in 104 weeks, he's made 20 little lists of 15 people and he's just reached out to those people and he's just stayed consistent. He's just stayed consistent, stayed consistent, stayed consistent. And that's the beauty of this business is if you just decide, right? You make a decision that this is what you're gonna do. You're like, I've decided I'm making 5,000, 10,000, whatever your goal is, I've decided. Then it's just staying consistent with the, the activity. And that's the beauty of it. Like he puts me on the phone with people sometimes and they're like, nah, I'm not into it. It's like, okay, awesome, bro. You wanna be in the Facebook group and just keep keep looking at it? Cool, all right, next, next person. Man, I'm so excited, I've been praying for an opportunity like this, can't, can't wait to get started. Next person, no, next person. Yeah, 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 I think I'm ready to get started, just need a little bit more information. Okay, cool, let's get you on the next training. Next person, no, next person. Yeah, ready to sign up, can I pay my, my visa? It's just, it's literally just, it's like any business. This is what I was saying the other day with, uh, you can sit down, give Ty a round of applause. So, this is what I was saying the other night is this, think of it like a restaurant. In a restaurant, you have to rely on new customers all the time. In a restaurant, if you had a restaurant and you said, okay, I'm gonna do a grand opening and I'm gonna invite everybody to my restaurant for my grand opening and then you never did any more marketing or any more advertising and you just expected that all those people that showed up to your grand opening were gonna come back every day, would your, how would your restaurant do? Not good. Not good. It's the same with this business. It's all about new customers. So it's how do we get the new person in? How do we show them what we have? How do we let them taste the products? Have, a, have a, an experience, get a feel for the community, get a feel for the vibe, catch the vision. This is the biggest key. If, if you guys take away anything from tonight, speak the vision, catch the vision first, and then speak it, share it, talk about it, help your team catch the vision. That's how they're gonna, that's how they're gonna see the, through, through the, why has Ty stayed for two years? Because he caught the vision, right? That's why he's doing it. And that's why he's, he's gonna go all the way into these levels here and, and, and beyond, you know, is because he has that long-term vision. His why is strong, all those things. I'm just bragging on Ty just because he's making the most money in, in, in the country, but also it could be any one of you guys. You know what I mean? Any one of you guys could do this. It does, it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science. This is really, really simple. So that is the, um, the Peak Pass Plug Promo or the PS4. Now we've done the perfect invite. Um, you know, that, that, that we did, I want to show you guys how the compensation plan works. And then I'm also going to talk about two things. I'm going to write them down here so I don't forget. Um, so I'm going to write down Greg for 
Croatia, don't forget. And then I'm also going to talk about incentive, don't forget. All right, so let me erase some of this stuff. Shoot, this isn't going to erase very good. I just need this. I think I'm okay, bro. I just need this middle. This is fine. Hopefully this isn't looking too crazy on the live stream. No, it's all right. Well, no, no, it's the recording. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to talk about the comp plan. So how do you actually get paid in this thing, right? How does it actually work? How do you get to, say, 600? This is all USD. So how do you get to 600 USD a month? So we have different levels that you can start at. So if you start with just trading education, it's called a base pack. We start with the empower pack, which is trade and travel, which is what most people do. That's, 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 the, that's the most popular product that we have right now is the empower. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys just based on base packages and the numbers will actually be smaller. So for example, to get to 600 a month, I'm gonna say it's 12 people. If you're doing empower packages, which most people are, it's like 10 customers, okay? So to get to 12 people, this is what you do. You literally, you get started, right? So this is, this is you. So you sign up, you make a decision, you get started. Now you go bring in your three friends. So you got three people here. Now all you need to do to get to 12 is you need to bring in four here, four here, and four here. Now, in order to do that, for someone who's new, a lot of times you're looking at this and you're going like, man, I don't, I don't know if I can recruit 12 people. Like that's a lot. Or, or, or it seems like it's maybe, you know, that you're like, well, how, how does that really work? Well, here's the beauty of it. It's everybody that you refer and ever, it's everyone that they refer to unlimited levels. Plus, it's everybody that the person above you who brought you in, it's also everyone that they refer. So for example, Ty refers Damon, all right? So here's Damon. Here's Todd, here's Damon. Now, for example, what, what could happen is Ty, he could go put four people below Damon and that actually counts for Damon's business. So these four here, this is the crazy thing, is the, the upline here could go place four people below this position and it counts for the 12. So these 12 that you're trying to get, four of them could be placed there by the person above you. So you can help the people that you're working with and the person above you can help you and you can help the people below, below you. So I do this all the time. I bring in people and I go, who are the people in my team that are working that really want to build this business? Cause not everyone wants, some people just want the trading education. Some people are just here for the travel club. Some people aren't, they're not building, right? Which is cool. But the people that are building, it's like, all right, who, who, who's working hard that I can help and I can say, hey, I'm gonna give you what's called spillover. So I'll go place customers below certain people to give them a boost, which is sweet. It's, it's a very collaborative business. Now, the other thing is, let's say that, that um, you know, Ty only refers one person here, right? So he's put, in, he's put in one here. Now this person here, let's say this person goes in and they put in three. So this guy goes and refers three, that also counts for Ty to get to 600 a month, to get to his 12. So now the person above him is helping him, the person below him is helping him. Is there any other business model in the world like that? I've never seen anything like that. When I first really got this, I was like, this just makes sense because this is just people helping people. And it's like Jim Rohn says, you know, if you, if you help enough people in life get what they want, you're gonna get everything in life that you want. That's entrepreneurship. Like entrepreneurship is, is providing, solving, solving problems at a profit or entrepreneurship is just, you know, providing people a service, providing value to the marketplace and so fixing people's problems. Now, in this case, if you're, if you're like, well, if I help enough people get what they want, I'm going to get what I want. Here's how it works. You go, instead of signing up, you know, three, what if you signed up over the next two years? How many people do you think you've enrolled in the last two years personally? It's getting close to hundred. A hundred. Okay, so, so, so remember, this is a clue. So he talked to 300, he enrolled a hundred. <laughs> That's pretty insane. 
that, that's a really, 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 really good ratio. You're not all going to be at that. It's not always going to be a 30%, but 30% is actually, once you get to know this system, that's pretty normal because it's not all people that sign up on the spot. Sometimes it's that follow up. They have to see it. They have to build their belief, catch the vision, right? So if he signed up a hundred people, so now imagine <clears throat> over this, here's these three here. You're going to have other people here, other people here that you could, you could build wide with the people that you're bringing in, but you don't build wide because you take this person and you drop them in down here. You take this person, you drop them in down here. Now this person's benefiting as Ty's recruiting these people, right? As he's referring people, helping people get started, instead of building wide, he's putting them down below these legs to help all these individuals here. So if you're with someone who's a builder, right? Like I know Elaine's a builder. She wants to go all the way, right? I know that, you know, what's the name? Fit, uh, Fit Travel Crew? Fit Travel Tribe. Sylvia's Fit yeah. Travel Tribe is gonna be huge. There's gonna be thousands of people in that thing. So if you can work with her and get in with someone like her or get in with someone like Elaine or Ty or Damon's gonna build it big. He's going to Croatia, you and your wife, right? This dude's going to Croatia with his wife and, and, and investing that time to get there. Do you think that his business is gonna, is gonna be better off or worse off after he goes to Croatia? It's gonna blow up. Because people are gonna see him in Croatia going like, dude, what are you doing in Croatia? Oh man, you know what I found this amazing thing? Listen, I don't have time because I'm at an event. Let me send you a video and I'll get you on the phone with my business partner tomorrow. That's what I did. I went to the Dallas convention. I was just, people were hitting me up. What are you doing in Dallas? I was calling people. Hey, I'm in Dallas. What are you doing there? Oh, I found something awesome. I don't have time to tell you about it. I'll send you a video. I'll call you tomorrow. That's the invite, right? That's PS4. That's all I did. That's how I signed up Jay Bonham. He's the number one educator in the company now. <laughs> He's the number one educator in the company. I was at an event. I called him. I said, I found this trading thing. I don't have time to tell you about it. I'll send you a video. He's like, how much is it? I'm like 300 bucks. He's like, I'll just sign up. That's so cheap. Why don't you just send me the link? He signed up. He's the number one educator going to be, I'm speaking it into existence. He's the number five educator right now out of almost 200 people. He didn't even know how to trade. And four years later, he's teaching people. He's educating people because he caught the vision of this. And all I did was I just invited him to get started. Now Jay's built a team of, you know, 800 people. Right? So those 800 people are now in my organization, which is amazing. And, I, and I'm grateful for that. But now I go, okay, who's the next Jay? Who's the next person that I know that I can help? Who's the next person that I can, I can share this with? And so this just never stops. And if you commit to like what I, I heard a guy, there's a really, 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 really successful guy in this industry who I learned from, I'm not going to name, name any names, but we'll just, I'll just tell you that if you could do two a day, if you could invite two people a day, if you could expose two people a day to, to something good like this, to, to invite them, two a day is, is, is doable. One person in the morning, one person in the afternoon. One person in the morning, one person in the evening. Just inviting them. You're gonna build, you know, over time, every week that's 14 people. Every month that's, you know, what is that? 56 people, I think, a month. 56 people a month you're showing. If you show 56 people a month, you know, if, if half of them say no, sounds like a scam, Probably one of those things. Cool, awesome. Bro, jump in the Facebook group. Just keep, keep an eye on what we're doing. I think you're gonna, you know, you might, you might catch some value. If you, you know, no worries, no pressure. The other half of those 56 are gonna be open-minded because that's sorting, you're sorting your people and you're not selling them, you're just sorting them. So if you sort people into who's open-minded and who's not, 50% will be, 50% won't. So you take those 50% and you just go, okay, let me invite you. Let me, let me pass you, right? Pique your interest, pass you something, plug you into a three-way call. And they're either gonna sign up on the spot, they're gonna sign up two, three, four weeks later, or they're gonna be a no. And all you do is you just follow that system and you fall in love with this process of, of, of just building this business from your phone, which is honestly, I've built other businesses. I had a consulting business, I had a construction business. Um, I had, uh, um, you know, a couple other things that I, that I was doing on the side, other businesses that I've done that are not this simple. Business is not simple. If you're in a traditional business, like you, you're all things to all people, you know, all the time. And it's very, very hard to find something that you can do for $300. You know, it's, it's 275 to get started. That's how much it costs to start this business. 
plus it's $25 a month for a business to get. So we call it 300 bucks, right? The three, this is a $300 business that could make you a million a month. Show me something else that you, that, that, that could do that. It might take you 10 years to get to a million a month. What if you started a $300 business that made you 600 a month? Would it still be worth it? hundred yeah. percent, you know? So, so in the beginning, when you're getting started, if you guys remember this, right? There's no money changing hands here. It's not like Ty is signing up Damon and Damon's like, all right, Ty, I'm going to give you 300 bucks and then I'm going to find two other people and they're going to give me 300 bucks. And then the guy above me is going to make five grand. That's a gifting circle. <laughs> that, that's a Ponzi scheme. That's a nightmare. You know, that's a pyramid scheme. There's people out there that literally they'll, they'll take their life savings and they'll just throw a Hail Mary at something because no one's ever shown them something real. Like I, I, I used to put a Bitcoin at a time into different things. Cause I'd be like, well, this Ethereum mining thing, my buddy showed me a video of him in Iceland at the mining facility and it's gotta be legit. So I go to the bank and I wire whatever, you know, gone. Right. I put $80,000 into a crypto thing once gone. Um, you know, I've had people that have said like, buy this coin, um, put five grand into this one coin one time gone. Right. I talk to people every single day on the phone. Yeah. I've been trying all these things and this thing and my friends do. And I'm like, People are literally just desperate for something that's real that works. Yeah. Yeah. This is education. Education is never going to go to style. Do you know what happened during COVID with our company? As you know, the, the, the pandemic was announced and was like, the world was like, we're all of a sudden we're in a pandemic. Everybody's like businesses getting shut down, jobs getting shut down, people, you know, struggling. Our company grew 300%. In literally like four months, we went from 100,000 to 300,000, 400,000, whatever, 350,000 customers because people are looking for something real. That's recession proof. That was the other thing on the list on the perfect career. It's recession proof. As the world is, is we're in a recession right now, right? If, if you guys don't, aren't aware, we are in a recession. As the world goes into more and more of a recession, people are sitting at home going, I need to make an extra thousand a month to pay the bills. Mm -hmm. As your mortgage interest rate is going up, I need to make an extra 2000 a month. As you, you maybe lose your job or your job is at the mercy of the government or your job's at the mercy of the economy or your job's at the mercy of your boss, right? I just had a guy, literally, I met a guy at the gym in, in, in Medellin, Colombia. This huge dude, um, he's at the gym. He walked by, I saw him. Uh, guess what I did? I love your Jordans, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I like your Jordans. He was like, oh, thanks. Asked him a question. Did you get them here? Because every shoe store I've been to doesn't carry anything above a size 11. No, man, I got them in Miami. Oh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Miami. Oh, that's cool. What do you do? I work for HubSpot. HubSpot is a, um, a tech company. So he does sales for a tech company. And, and I was like, oh, that's awesome, bro. Listen, I got to get back to my workout. Let me grab your Instagram. He texted me today as I was driving here. You know what he told me? <laughs> The company's consolidating. I'm probably going to lose my job. His job is at the mercy of the economy. If you have a job, you're at the mercy of someone else. I've had, I had 25 jobs before I was 25. I used to work three jobs in junior high, three jobs in high school, three jobs in college. I just got to a point where I realized jobs don't really work for the life that I want to create. Jobs don't create any time freedom. Jobs don't create any financial freedom unless you have a super high paying job and you work two hours a day, which if you have that kind of a job, amazing, great, good, good for you. And, and, and you're very, very lucky, but most people don't have a job like that. And so when I realized that there has to be something better and I saw this, I said, the person who's bringing me in, if Ty brings you into the business, do you think Ty's going to help you? I mean, he might not give you a bunch of spillover, but do you think he's going to help you? For sure. If, if I bring you into this business, I'm going to help you. So people helping people. Now, if you bring someone in and you, you, you recruit someone, now you have the opportunity to help them. This is literally, if you go and you study the laws of the universe, like the law of compensation, the law of gratitude, the law of polarity. If you never heard of this stuff, I hadn't either. But if you go study it, study Bob Proctor, study the, the you know, these are, these are principles that govern, you know, the, they've always been. Gravity. And they've, uh, law of gravity. What goes up must come down. It's the law of gravity. Right? The law of polarity. When something really bad happens, something really, really good has to happen as well. That's the thing. Like when COVID happened, Bob Proctor was on an interview. I was on the YouTube live and Bob Proctor was like, 
the guy's like, so Bob, what do you think about COVID? He's like, I don't think about it. I was like, what do you mean you don't think about it? He's like, well, I know the law of polarity. He's like, what do you mean? He's like, well, bro, I, I'm 85. The guy's just, he passed away at 87 or 86. He was 85 at the time. And he said, in my 85 years, I've, no, I've observed, I learned about the law of polarity, but I've also seen that whenever ever, ever anything really bad happens in the world, there's always something good that comes out of it. So I know that no matter if it's really, really, really bad, it means something really, really, really good, that the level is always going to be the same. So he said, I'm not really concerned about COVID. I don't think about it. I'm just on this earth to help as many people as I can. And I'm just going to keep doing that. And that's what he did until the day he died. It's crazy. And I've literally watched like these laws of as many people as you help. Like if you're in a not in a good place right now, financially, go write down 15 people that you can help. If, even if it's not in this business, it could be anything, you know, but who are people that you can help? Because when you help people, you're going to, you're going to, your, your life is automatically going to get better. It just so happens that in network marketing, the more people you help, the more money you make. So this is a way to make, sorry, this is a way to make 600 a month. Okay. Now this is what I showed the other day is now you take it to a different level. And I know I'm not erasing this because I don't want to take too much more of you guys time. How do you go from 600 to a thousand? How do you do it? Well, you got to have 30 people in your group, right? So if you need 30, well, you could go recruit another 18 people, or you could do, you know, you could do this, what you just did again, or what you could do is you could just go find three people that want to get to 600 a month. So you take of your 12, you go to your 12 and you go, Hey, are you just want to be a customer or do you want to build the business? Have you caught the vision of what we're doing? And you're going to find out of every 10 people, you're going to find two or three that want to build the business. I, I've looked at many people's back offices and the ratio is always the same. You have about 80 to 85% customer ratio, meaning 85% of people will never pay the business kit to upgrade. They're always just going to be a customer. They're just going to want to educate, get educated, travel, use the products. And, and, that, and that's cool. But of these 12, you're going to find three or four people that want to build the business. So then what you do is you take those three or four people and you say, Hey, let's get you to P600, right? And as you get those three people to P600, you're helping them, you're adding value to them, you're, you're empowering them, right? They're going and hitting this rank, so that's 12, 12, 12. Well, now you're way above 30. Now you're halfway already to, to two grand a month, right? So you're not trying to help every single person in your team. You're not trying to convince them, hey, you gotta refer your friends. You gotta go two and free, you gotta go P150. Do the business with me. Bring all your friends to the event. You don't want to do that. This is a customer-based business. This is all about bringing value to the company. Is all about empowering people and educating people. Well, we want people to learn to trade in the academy. We want people to use the travel club. We want them to be happy customers and find value in that. And that's that's the heartbeat of the business. But for every ten people, you're going to have two or three that want to build with you. So you help those people to go P six hundred, and then automatically you're, you're going to rank advance. Now, how do you get to, to two grand a month? Well, you, you just, now you have, what is that's 12, 12, 12, 12. What is that? 48. So now you got 48 to get to two, 2000. You just need 75 people. So now you find three more of those 48 people, whatever it is, 50 people you go, okay, who are three more people that put their hand up and say, I want to build this business. They're probably trading, they're probably traveling. Some of them are probably doing it all, but you're gonna find those individuals. And then what you do is you train them on this. You just train them on the basics. Peak, pass, plug, promote, make a list of 15. Who can you get me on the phone with tomorrow, right? And you help those people. When you get two P600s here and here, now you're at 70, now you're at P2, right? Ty, if Ty looked at his business and said, is this actually, is this is what I'm teaching right now actually legit as far as how many people you've helped rank advance and, and how you've kind of structured it, you know, with as far as just sorting people into are they business builders? Are they customers? Are they people that just want to learn to trade or are they people? And then you teach those people. Here's the basics, right? I taught this to Ty. Greg, who brought me in, taught this to me. You know who taught it to Greg? His mentor, the person who brought him in.
So this is a duplicatable system that can scale. And now Ty's helped, I don't know how many people go P600, P150, P1000, you know, and, and, and as that scales out, now you, you start to climb up these ranks. And so the core rank in every company, and the, there's, there's thousands of network marketing companies in the world, like there's thousands of companies. It's crazy. This industry is massive. There's probably about 400 million people globally in home-based business. This, what I'm teaching you right here, applies to any home-based business. It's just these are our products and this is our comp plan. But if you exchange the numbers and the products, it's all, it works the same way. Now there's a list of the, the top companies in 2022, sorry, 2021. We were the number one momentum company in the whole industry. Why? Because we have something that everyone needs. They need education because people are realizing, well, if I go buy a weight loss supplement for my friend and their company, yeah, I might lose some weight and look great and, you know, go to go on my TLX trip and, you know, look great on the beach. Cool. But is it going to empower me to learn a skill set where I can go make money regardless of what's going on in the economy, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the market? That's what we're doing is we're literally teaching people skills. So our company has, has risen to the top of the ranks, but this right here is, is, is really, if you want to build this business, you want to create a P600 factory, right? So find people first, you get to P600 and then you, you help people in your team go P600 and you just do that every single month. And if you continue to do that and you continue to do that, eventually what happens is you fall in love with the process. Like how good did it feel to go P600? Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. How good did it feel to go P2000? Tried a little bit. <laughs> Tried a little bit. How good did it feel to go P600? Amazing. Amazing, I'll, right? I'll let you know Friday. <laughs> well, it's already, we could probably get it done by Thursday. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's crazy, right? It feels good. It feels good. You know how good it feels for them to go to hit these ranks? It feels amazing. When Ty hit P2000, I think I was jumping up and down, <laughs> screaming yep. on my deck. There's a video of it. Yep. I was like elated, so happy because I know what $2,000 a month does for his family. When I worked a job, when I worked my consulting business, when I sold solar, when I you know, did the, the things that I did, do you think I was fulfilled? Did it feel good? Did it matter in the world? No, it didn't really. It was just, transactions, it was people buying products. It was me getting a paycheck. This business, you helping people get to P600, why I'm telling you that is because if you fall in love, I've fallen in love with the process. Like they, they, there's a saying in this business, like there's a difference between the company being in you and you being in the company. But you can be in something, but when something's in you, that's a whole different game. That's when you've caught the vision and you're like, okay, I'm like, when I first saw this, that video you guys saw at the beginning, I was at an event like that. And I literally, I got so, I caught the vision. I really caught it, like I felt it. And, and I heard Bob Proctor speak live and he, he was teaching all these things about the goal card. I literally made my goal card on the spot. One thing I've, I've done since I got in, into business was I just remained super teachable and coachable. And I think a lot of people block their blessings because they're not coachable. So if you're, if you're not where you wanna be, you just gotta find someone that has what you want. And then you just gotta say, teach me. You know, like I, I, I didn't, I didn't always know how to do this. I was the guy at the back being like, dude, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat after this. You know, KFC. I had no, I had no idea how this works. KFC, KFC is still open. Um, we, we got, we got some pretty good uh, spicy chicken the other night, but it's like, when I learned this, I realized like, this is a vehicle for freedom not just for me, but for other people. Yeah. And I, I looked yeah. over at Mel, I literally looked over at Mel, I was at the event in Dallas and I was sitting here, I'll never forget this. She was behind me on the right and I literally looked over at her and I said, I'm gonna do this for five years. And she was like, I, I believe you will. Cause she could see the conviction that I had on my face, but also, I mean, she knows that like, you know, when I do something like I, I do it, you know, like I'm like, I'm, I'm in, I'm all in. So, I made a decision, a big decision that I was going to do this. And I said, I'm just going to fall in love with this process for five years because I know what the last five years looked like. 
And if you sit, if you're if you're watching this live or the recording or you guys that are here now, just think about the last five years. How fast did the last five years go by? Super quick. How 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 has any? Are you in the same financial position now as you were five years ago? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you're better. Maybe you're worse. But if you did something for the next five years that could change your life where you could end up like, like Jay's never gonna have to work again. You know, I, I've created something now in this business where I'm, I, I haven't had a job in 10 years and I'm never going to have to look for a job because I know how to do this. You could, I could parachute into a country <laughs> and I could go P600 because guess what? Everyone in the world needs to learn to get educated. We've translated this into 22 countries, 22 languages. We're going to continue to translate it because it's just education. It's just information. Information can just be translated. So, you know, you, you look at, does everyone want, need to get educated on how to make money in the new economy of 2023? Mm -hmm. E-commerce, trading, social media, you know, network marketing, the things that are going to allow you to literally live where you want to live, have the life you want to have, do what you want to do with your time. Everyone needs that. So it's a product that is universal and it's our company is open all around the world. Now, if I got parachuted into North Korea or Iraq, <laughs> I'd probably have to get, you know, an ex, someone would have to come in and, and, and get me out of there. We're in but Kazakhstan. Literally, there's three countries or four countries in the world we're not open in. But this is the thing is this business, you don't have to parachute. You have a smartphone and you can literally text or call someone anywhere in the world and they can jump into this thing. I showed you guys the invite over the phone. It's that simple. Make a phone call, pass a video, plug them into a three-way, promote them into the Facebook group, get them in, get them started, get them rolling. And once you start creating this P600 factory, all this other stuff starts to, starts to come. So I'm going to, I'm going to wrap up here. What time are we at? 925. What is it? 925. 925. So it's been two hours. Okay, cool. So I just want to make sure I don't miss anything here. Okay. So, um, we're going to end with this. So Greg, who's my, my sponsor and uh, chairman 50 MMX educator. He teaches in the mindset Academy, uh, been in the industry for like 15 years. Um, he, he knows how big of an investment it is for people to go from New Zealand or Australia or, you know, wherever you are on, on the live stream to get to Croatia. It's a big investment. It, it, it's not like, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a, you know, you got to take a week off. You got to put thousands of dollars together for a flight, all this kind of stuff. So what Greg has said is that anyone who comes to Croatia, Ty gets to pick the restaurant or Jess, any restaurant in Zagreb. So if you want to go in the sky tower, you want, wherever you want to go, um, Greg's going to take everyone from this organization out to dinner in Croatia, wherever Ty wants to pick. All right. That will be in and of itself an experience that you will never forget. Cause I've had dinners with Greg and it's not KFC. <laughs> it's like, he's getting the proper bottles of wine. He's getting the best appies. He's getting the best food. He's, he's, he's speaking life into you while you're there. He's helping you. He's answering questions. Like if you get around someone that's been doing this for 15 years, it's made millions of dollars and sit and have dinner and have him pay. That's worth the trip to Croatia right there. Yeah. Okay. Mentor John C. Maxwell, Bob Proctor. Yeah, he's got personally mentored by Bob Proctor. He's been personally mentored by John Maxwell. So he's somebody that you want to get around. So he's doing that. And then I talked to I talked to a couple of friends before the uh, before tonight, and I said I want to put together a little bit extra uh, for 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 Ty and, and for Jess because we're we're in this big push right now um, with this whole organization. So. It's really just, um, you know, it's, it's for the whole team, but it's, it's limit. This is a limited incentive. Okay. Are we live or are we just recording? No, just recording. Okay. So you can put this in the chat. Someone can put this in the chat right away, but the next 10 people <laughs> who get started, the next 10, only 10 are going to get $50 off. All right. Dang. So instead of 275, it's 225. So Greg and I are going to cover it. The, the, the cost for that, we're going to rebate the customer. So you're going to pay, you're going to sign up. And then after the, the refund period, you're just going to get a rebate. So we'll PayPal it to you. We'll send it to you, Bitcoin, whatever, whatever works for you. 
Okay? Sheesh. So the next 10 people are going to get $50 off. And that's the dinner in Croatia, the deal there. Um, but guys, all I can tell you is like, this thing works. And if you want to know if it works, just look at the people. Like, go scroll back 10 years on my Instagram. Go scroll back 10 years in, in Alex's Instagram, Matt's Instagram, Greg's Instagram. Look at where we were and what we were doing and how this vehicle, what, how we become empowered. Look at Ty's life in the last couple of years, what's happening for them, right? Look at the, the educators, look at Jay, go look at Jay's life and his story, you know, and just think like in the next five years, if you catch the vision, you make a decision, you just learn some simple skills, right? It's just skills. It's, this is a skill training. What I wanted to do is just teach you guys a skill-based training. If you guys can just learn these skills, stay consistent, expose two people a, a day, one person in the morning, one person in the evening, right? Keep building your list. Do, do the, do commit to this, commit to this, right? Go see how many acquaintances you can meet in the next month. Go see how many people you can connect with. If, as, if you commit to this and you do it and you just continually learn and get better and stay coachable and stay teachable and stay consistent, the sky's the limit, literally. Like the sky, there's, it's limitless. What you can do with trading, what education, travel, the business, it's limitless. And so, um, you know, that, that's, that's really all I got. Does anyone have any questions that I can answer before I go? Because I know that there's probably some questions and I can take some questions. Um, if you want to kill the recording, Missing you can, or if you want to leave it, Q and A might be helpful. We'll I can edit it out later. Okay. Just speak the question loud so that they can hear it on the recording. Is I, you probably, probably the mic may not pick it up. So does anyone have any questions that I can answer? Go for it. So what would be a really good way to get someone's social media after you compliment them? Because I'm thinking like, you know, giving them a compliment and just go like, can I have your Instagram? But for example, I'm a guy and I go to like a girl or something and how would that look? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, for I don't sure. Like, we did that in the cafe yesterday. Or something we did that in like. the cafe yesterday. So yeah. that's a good question. So what you don't want to do is you don't want to like ask a dude for his number. Seriously, it's weird. Yeah. Um, now, if you're, when you're having a conversation with somebody, you can just ask them, what's the best way to keep in touch with you? That, that they're going to tell you. Like, so I talked to a guy yesterday. He didn't have WhatsApp or Instagram. He didn't have Facebook. He gave me his WhatsApp. WhatsApps, you're, you're still asking them for their number, but it's a WhatsApp. So it's not, it's not as big of a deal. Now, the other thing you can do is you could say, how can you add value to them so they want to keep in touch with you? This is like the next level. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do is I'll be like, hey, like, have you, have, you know, have you done any travel? Have you ever been to Central America? Have you ever been to Canada? They're like, no. And I'm like, well, we should keep in touch. And if you ever go to Central America or you go to Canada, I can give you some great contacts. And I can introduce you to some good people there if you, if you want, like, you know, good restaurants, good places to go, safe places to go. So, like, you know, I, I can... I could hook you up. So, you know, grab my Instagram. I'll give them my Instagram, right? Shoot me a message so I get it. So I make sure it's out of requests, whatever. Just get creative with it, right? Um, but if you ask them what's the best way to keep in touch with them, or if you offer value to them in some way, um, that's a good way. But I mean, yeah, Instagram and WhatsApp are the ones that I go for. And then if they don't have it, you could say Facebook or Social media is better because then they can, you can see what they're doing. They can see what you're doing and you can actually kind of get to know them. If you get someone's WhatsApp, you got to be very intentional. Yeah. So if you get someone's WhatsApp, you just, then you want to say you WhatsApp them and you're like, Hey, are you on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Or Hey, you want Facebook? Mm -hmm. So the what's, but the WhatsApp's good too. Cause then you have their number. Awesome. Does that help? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Anybody else have anything? Can you elaborate a little bit about the trading, how the education part of that works? I think there's some people in the room that doesn't know anything about that part. So just what is that all about? Yeah, so trading is self-directed investing. So trading is just growing, basically multiplying your money, right? So if, when you're trading, you, you're learning how to take $100, turn it into $500. Take $1,000, turn it into 5000 It's just growing your money and multiplying your money. So the education basically works in three parts. So you have recorded academies, you have videos that are going to teach you like the fundamentals. I was explaining to a lady like this today. It's like learning a language. 
So if you were going to learn Spanish and you needed to learn Spanish, you could go watch some recorded videos. But if you could have a coach that would teach you live, that would actually walk you through and show you like role play with you and talk to you and actually teach you in a live environment, that would probably help a lot. And then apps, software, things that you can use. The thing with trading is it's basically just learning a new language because trading is a language. You got to learn what a pip is, what's a lot size, what's a buy, what's a sell, how does a broker work, all those things. So it's just learning. But once you learn those things, trading is just pushing a buy button, pushing a sell button, like learning how to find a market or find an asset and get into that market and get out of that market. So going in and taking a little bit of profit and it's probably going to sound like Greek to you when you first look at it, which because it's new, right? And, and that's the thing. When I got started, I didn't know anything about trading, but I knew that I knew a guy that was a trader and he drove a Rolls Royce. Literally, his name's Danny. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know anything about this guy other than he told me he was a trader. And I was like, well, dude, the guy must make money, mm-hmm. right? And then I went to this convention in Dallas after I signed up and I was like, I'm gonna go see what this trading thing is all about. And I saw people running around this convention from all over the world I heard this lady's story who was a real estate agent. She lost everything. She was a, she's now an educator in the company. She lost everything in 08, basically got evicted, lost her rental properties, like really, really bad situation. Got invited to this meeting, learned about IM, started trading, learned the skill set. Then she got so good at trading that she took a hundred dollars, turned it into a million dollars in a couple of years, which is doable because all you're doing is you're doing 1% at a time. If you take 1%, if you take a hundred dollars and do 1% a day, five days a week for two years, you know, you, you get crazy numbers. <laughs> it, it's actually insane mm-hmm. what happens. And that's all trading is, is it's not a get rich quick thing. It's not like, you know, but it's not a get rich slow thing either. It's, it's a, you can literally, I've seen people in 18 months quit their jobs just from trading because it's like anything, it's a skill, but most skills, like when I was growing up, the skills were learn how to weld, learn how to be a carpenter, uh, learn how to be a mechanic. And I would look at the job, the skill, and I'd go, okay, well, if I learn this skill, I can make 80 grand a year. I don't want to make 80 grand a year. I want to make more. So trading is a skill with unlimited earnings, which is, which is, and network marketing. This is also a skill. Like the business side is just a skill. It's a skill set. Once you learn that skill set, you can do unlimited, you can earn unlimited money because you can build an unlimited network. So trading in, is, 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 is a 1% of the world are investors, 4% are business owners, and 1% of 1% of investors are actually skilled traders. That's why this company is so special in the sense that like people can come here and learn how to trade when most people, they don't have the money to learn how to trade because it's expensive. Most trading academies are like 20, $30,000 for a year of education. Some of them are cheaper. Some of them are five, $10,000, but who's really got 10 grand put into education? This is $300. Right. And if you refer to people, it's free. If you refer 12, you get paid to do it. So it's like people have come here over the last 10 years to learn to trade because it's, it's, it's just the best place out there to learn for the average person who's just trying to, you know, take what a small amount of money and, you know, an hour a day and, and learn the skill set. So that's the best, I guess uh, that's a brief description, but I, I mean, I, it trading that's, there's a lot to, to trading. It's complicated. It's technical, but the company has taken something that's complicated and technical and just made it very, very simple to learn and very simple to understand where anybody can do it. Like we have a guy in our team who's 63 who just learned how to trade and he's basically cracked it and he's only been doing it for a year. We have a, a lady in our team in Canada who's 74 and she had a traditional business. She sold her business. She retired. And then the last two years, she's been sitting around cooking meals in the kitchen and talking to her grandkids and she's bored. She's like, I need something to do. So she learned how she went through Jay's boot camp, learned to trade. I'm personal friends with her. I've been, you know, we were on go live together every morning for about 90 days, helped her set up her demo account, helped her get started. Now she, she can make two or 3% in a day trading in her seventies. Like it's not complicated. It's just, you just have to learn how to do it. So yeah. One thing Christopher Terry mentioned in a video I saw, is he said um, he strongly recommends that you got to taste it to sell it. And he's selling people, learn, learn the product, use the product, and that will help you sell the product. Yeah. 
I've been trading 18 months and it's a pretty cool platform. That's why I'm here now because I've done all the trading and yeah. So what's the question? Oh, just supporting your answer. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I agree. Just, I agree. I agree. I'm edifying yeah, yeah. Your yeah. I, 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 I agree. I agree yeah. with you. And, There's and a lot it, of value there. What Chris, what Chris said, like it, it's really, I heard Jason. So Jason's like the up and coming CEO. He will be yep. the CEO. He's been in the company for 10 years, but he basically said, you know, you, you have to build your belief in this thing in order to share it with anyone else. Right. And that's really what it is. You don't have to be a successful trader. <clears throat> you, you, you have to build your belief that this is a good place for people to be. Mm. And, and that's, that's, I think why, um, you know, when I was at the event in, in, in Dallas, my first convention, that's why I was on the phone and I was calling people because I was looking around at this environment. And I'm going like, these people are excited. They're obviously su having success. They're, they're, they're empowered. They've been empowered. I could feel the energy. And I was like, I just want to bring people into this environment. I want to bring people into this room. What they choose to do with it is up to them. If yeah. they learn to trade, cool. If they join the travel club, cool. If they build the business, cool. But this environment is a growth environment. And that's the thing about a growth environment is like a growth environment makes you happier when your happiness is growth and contribution if you're not happy right now happiness is growth and contribution that's from tony robbins so if, you, if you're growing you'll be happier if you're contributing to something other than yourself or someone other than yourself you'll be happy that's why most people are depressed they if you want to be depressed just sit in the corner and think about yourself <laughs> i've done it I, pr I i was like i wonder if this works and sure enough <laughs> or wake up in the morning don't get out of bed and lay in bed for an hour and just think about all your problems. Mm. Depression. And then you get out of bed and you're like, I'm gonna go help someone. I'm gonna go learn something. All of a sudden you, you're, you're happy. You, that, all that goes away. That's what I am really is, is it's a place to grow and a place to contribute. And that's what I experienced when I was at that, in that event, was I saw people that were genuinely happy. I was like, these people are excited, right? And I was like, I want to bring my friends who are all unhappy. How many people do you know that are unhappy? Most. Yeah. most. Yeah. Because most people are chasing happiness through <laughs> external things or they're chasing happiness through, you know, whatever they're addicted to or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like, but if you can say to your friends, hey, listen, this, here's an invite for you. Hey, listen, I know you've been pretty unhappy lately. I found a place <laughs> where I think you could definitely... Um, that this might, this might boost your spirits a little bit. If you could come into a place where you could grow, maybe learn something new and have a place where you could actually contribute to something bigger than you, because let's face it, you're a selfish prick. <laughs> Just like we all are. We're all selfish. We're all, we're all sitting there like, what, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? You know? And so I decided I caught the vision in that room and I just, I decided like, I just want to bring people into this environment because I see all these happy people and I want my friends to win. I want my friends to be happy. I don't want to, all my friends to be like right now I have friends in Canada and they're all in Kelowna and their houses are getting burned down and their businesses are getting burned down and they're all living in hotels. One of my friends reached out to me last night. He's like, man, I need to get out of Canada. I need to learn how to make money. He runs a barbershop. He's literally set his entire life up where if he doesn't have customers walk through the door, he doesn't make money. Yeah. That's most people. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah. And he texted me and he was like, dude, I need to learn how to be mobile so I can get out of Canada because this is getting insane. They're censoring the media now. And that's a whole nother thing. I'm not going to get into all that, but it's like people need this. And this is just a way for them to get something that has this much has value and can help them be happier, grow, get into that environment. So that's the, that's what really what we're doing, you know, and, and the trading is growing. Trading is learning. Trading is, is learning about yourself and learning about money. If, if you want a proper definition of trading, it's, it's learning about yourself, your emotions, you know, trading is emotional because most people's relationship with money is emotional. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as you change that relationship with money and you realize, Hey, I could make 10 grand in the click of a mouse. Once I learned that skill, or I could make a hundred dollars in one minute versus a hundred dollars in a day. Right. And you come to grips with that, that that's actually real. And then you're like, well, how do I learn how to do that? Well, you just get on go live for a year and you just learn because you have a professional trader that's teaching you how to do it and you're just learning. So anyways, with that, two things. I remember we had one lady, she posted it. She's in our team, but I, I saw it on go live and I screenshot it because she was telling Jay, Jay, when I showed up here, I was suicidal. 
and and from being on your calls listening to your mindset etc cetera, etc cetera, i found hope again and I, I wake up every day excited to get on your sessions like wow. that was yeah. like screenshotted that, that i recognized her name and i was like holy smokes you're in our team mm. <laughs> like someone in, in the states but there's that part like being in a growth environment where you'd never think like you're showing up learning from a million dollar trader but you're actually also getting the mindset of someone that's done that and you're yeah. listening to that and that's you you're shifting the five voices that you listen to every day mm. and and so going from suicidal to that and then um the flip side of that because we didn't probably touch on it but you kind of highlighted it russ it's like the you can go slow you can go fast it's like you could build your belief over 18 months and you can go slow with this business or you can mm. do what you did <laughs> which was you went fast and i mean think about it though mm. it's the same investment mm. so i invested a few grand yeah it cost it, it cost a few thousand dollars for me to go to that event mm. and 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 go i'm gonna open up the hood I'm going to take the engine apart and I'm going to see what this is and see if I want to be a part of it. I'm going to shortcut my belief or you could take 18 months and pay your subscription for 18 months, which is also going to cost you a few grand mm. and you could build your belief that way. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do is up to you. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like I sat down with a guy a couple of days ago and he's like, I'm really just trying to decide if this is in my future. And I said, well, have you been to a convention? He's like, no. I'm like, well then come to convention and you'll know in probably in three hours of being there, is this something you want to be a part of? I brought people to conventions before and some of them are still here. Some of them aren't. It's not like you get there and we brainwash you. Like, this is what you have to do with your life, but you're going to see like, is this my tribe? Is this what I, is this, are these the people that I want to learn from? And, um, and yeah, so it's the same investment. If you look at it financially, right. Right. To, to just, and I was at a place where I just didn't have time. I didn't have time to, to take a year and a half to figure out if this was for me or not. I was like, I'm broke. <laughs> I need to figure this out now because <laughs> I want to make money now. I don't want to be broke anymore. You know, I'm like, I'm willing to get on a plane and go in three days after signing up to see if this is really what I think it is and what I hope it is. So I can know that a it's for me, but also b it's for the people that I know because I want to help people, you know? So anyway, that's just a side note. All right. Two more. Two more, three more, and then maybe three more, and then I gotta go. We gotta go watch the football game. Um, so I wanna contact some people in my old hot market. So I kinda left my hot prospect market when I decided to, I'm gonna go all into ECS. And I quit hanging out with every single person that wasn't benefiting my future. And that was my, you know, my close friends for five, six, seven years here. Mm -hmm. And I don't see them. I, I barely talk to them. I maybe see them once every three, four, five months when there's something special. How would I kind of like reach out to them and like bring this to them? Because I know some of them, I definitely can do that because I know their mindset. But there's a few like that I really want to, you know, show this to. And I think it could help them. How could I reach back out to them? Because they used to be hot. I think they might be warm right now, I guess. I think what you said is the key is you, you want to, you really want to sort them into like, who are people that, that I still want to have in my life. Mm. Right. And who, who are people that I maybe don't want to have in my life anymore. And it's that whole thing of like, you get to choose the people that you work with in this business. Mm -hmm. But when I, when I look back at the people that used to be my hot market, I've grown a lot yeah. since then. So I don't want, maybe want to have some of those people in my life anymore because they they haven't grown with me or whatever. Now that being said, some of those people need you to reach down and pull them up, mm. right? Some of those people might need you to be like, hey, listen, man, like, you know, I found something. I always use the edification. So I would always edify um, who you're working with. And I would, I, would, I would tee up calls based on, like it's an edification invite. Mm. So the whole <clears throat> invite I did with Ty, you could just do, you could do another, there's another invite called the edification invite. I did this for, I was in a company um, with my first mentor and um, you know, it was, it was a short lived thing, but like he was basically just like, dude, if you just get people on the phone with me, like, you know, we'll, we'll make it happen. And I really learned edification. And all I did was I just would reach out to people and I would say, Hey bro, listen, have I introduced you to my business partner, Ty? I know it's been a while. Hey man, I know it's been a while since we talked. Um, but I was just thinking, have I ever introduced you to my business partner, Ty? This dude's amazing. Oh, who's Ty? And then you just edify Ty, like build trust. Like again, edification is building trust between two people that don't know each other. So the person that you're talking to, 
build trust in Ty by edifying him and then say Ty's super busy. He's got four kids. He's running a global business. He's, he's full time. He's all in on everything we're doing, but he would take 10 minutes to chat with you. If I could find a time that works for him, would you be willing to hop on the phone with him and just connect? Because I think you're going to find a lot of value in having the relationship or even having this guy in your network, right? And people that understand opportunity and people that understand um, proximity, which maybe they consciously do or they subconsciously do, are going to understand like, hey, that would be a valuable call to take because Ty's a successful person. They're not a successful person yet. That's, that's an easy invite. So just that edification thing would be big. I mean, you could, I'm working with Alex Morton. He's super busy. I don't know if I could get him on the phone, but I'm working with a guy that works directly with him why don't, you know, that's being mentored by him. Why don't I see if I get him on the phone and then just edify me or whatever, right? Like create that, that sense of trust by just doing it that way. That's one way you could do it. Yeah. There's multiple ways you could do it, but that's probably my number one way that I would go. Cause then they know like you guys used to be tight. You've separated from them now. And now you're working with a whole different group of people. And these people are successful. Take care, man. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I like his email. He's funny. Can you can you bring a bottle of water when you come back? Um, there's five people waiting to sign up outside. Okay, get them signed up and then come back. <laughs> um, thank you. So, tell them I've separated. We separated, or, or or I obviously went and did my own thing for a while. Here's who I'm working with now some of the top people in the world in the space. I don't know if I could line up a call because they're all busy, but if I could get on one of them on the phone, I'd love for you to meet them so you can see who I'm working with and what I'm doing now. If they say no to that, they're not the right person. Yeah, yeah there's definitely only two of them. The rest are not definitely the right mindset. Yeah. One, I knew since he was 16 when I came to New Zealand and I took him to like see John Asraf live. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've taken him to a lot of events. Perfect. But he's kind of... You know faded out the way in life and he worked hospitality and that's a whole different environment for your mindset so he kind of like went the opposite way and there's another friend he's done really well we kind of like you know grew up um like have grown together because mm -hmm. everyone else in our friend group is still the same yeah but he's grown and he he now has a company that's worth one to two million dollars joe boys burgers he has like uh, many other uh, okay you know, uh, he got like two trailers he got like <clears throat> two three restaurants his only problem is his mindset. He he thinks ahead. He does the visualizing. Like he's he's doing a, like a lot, but he's still like in his party mode, and he keeps wanting to give me ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, like to invest in crypto for him. He's right. like, you just take your cut. I've been telling him about you know what I do and like a little bit about the academy. How would I get him? Because he's get him he's, to Croatia. He wants to get him to Croatia. I don't think he can come. Like he has to manage his business. Say, so if you're gonna give me ten thousand dollars to trade, give me put put that money into a plane ticket and come see what we're doing. Mm. And just the people that you meet at the event will be worth more than what the relationships that you make at the event will be worth more than what you invested in the event. Yeah. That was my Say that again. <laughs> Instead of giving me ten thousand dollars to trade with, yeah. take some of that money, half of that, come to Croatia. And the relationships that you you build at that event will be worth more than the money you invested to get to the event. Hang on, man. Uh, that was that was Miami, right? For a stack of Alex Squad, the relationships, the connections, that trip. Yeah, I can't measure it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Where, where's the next event? Croatia, Zagreb. So it's September eighth. So it's coming up in a few weeks. In Croatia, yeah. So the last one was in. We had one in uh, Florida. And then there was one before that in um, Rotterdam. Rotterdam, Rotterdam, Netherlands. And then before that, we had one in Arizona. And then there was one in Barcelona. So we always have one in Europe and one in North America, um, like every six months or so. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else have any couple last quick ones? I've got six people on my fence list right now. So if you want to be one of the four to get a discount, <laughs> so Ty's already got I'm, six. I've already got people. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I don't, my phone's still recording. You guys that are serious uh, <laughs> about this, you've already reached out to a couple people and just said, hey, there's only 10 people, the next 10 are going to get 50 off, because that'll probably happen by the morning. But it's like, I mean, when I got when I got started, I was broke as a joke. Like, 50 bucks off would have made a difference for me. I'm just telling you. 
Like I didn't get it as that would have saved me. <laughs> I would have been like, okay, awesome. <laughs> like that would have helped me, you know. Um, it's it's crazy, man. Like, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so what, tell me what, about the workplace. Like, what kind of workplace are we talking about? Uh, office, my office environment, first of all. What, so, and what, what's the business do? Uh, cosmetic clinic, so it's a, a plant beauty treatment. Okay. So I work literally, I'm a tree, I work the system. And then I've got him working opposite me, and then I've got my colleagues around me. And then I've got my own business on the side, which is personal training. And then I've got my, um, Sort of makeup business as well, which is easier because I can communicate with those clients on a personal level and they trust me. But my workplace environment is a little bit difficult. So I've got a huge network of all these clinics because I work for the franchise owner and we set up all these clinics, but they all know me. But I can't infiltrate necessarily into those um, because I don't want to. Yes, I don't know. Okay, so. so if you remember what I said earlier, this is a huge key, and, and I've, I've literally never forgotten this, is I heard a guy speak, his name is Josh Tolley one time, he spoke um, at, a, at an event, I actually flew him in to do a, a seminar, because I went to one of his seminars and I was blown away, and I had about 50 people there, and he said this, he was like, everyone, everybody wants three things, right? They wanna feel special, they wanna know a secret, and they wanna be a part of something bigger than them. Everyone in the world. Not, this wasn't a, not a network marketing event. This is just a general, if you wanna be better with people and, and just understand people more, these are three things everyone wants. So if you look at these clinics, I would find the sharpest person in each clinic or the sharpest person in each one of these environments, the one, and I would put them on your list and I would say these people have influence or these people are acquaintances or whatever, put them in a category. And then what I would do is I would have a conversation with that person and I would say, listen, I found something. No one else here knows about it. You're telling, going to tell them a secret. You're the sharpest person here in this clinic. So now they feel special. This is, uh, I've, I've partnered with some amazing people and we're collaborating on this, this movement that's literally going around the world right now. It's a lot bigger than me. It's not my thing. It's, it's something that I'm a part of. If I could get you in on a call with somebody locally that's doing this, we're expanding locally in this area, we're looking for sharp people, would you get on a quick call? Or would you come to a meeting? And that's how I would do it. Because what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna to talk to everyone in the office mm. and then have your boss be like, or everyone be like, ah, Sylvia's trying to recruit everyone in the office into this thing she's doing. I know, but if you find mm. that one person, right? Yeah. And who's the sharpest person, you, cause guaranteed that there's a lot of people at your work that you don't like. Would you, would you want every one of them on the team? Um, there's people, my point I is, is there's people, most people in my, in my office, I would love on the team. but there's people except that you know, but there's people, <laughs> okay. Except the CEO, I'll take them all away from him. there's, there's people that you know at work that you don't want to have in the business. And there's people that you do want to have in the business. Yes, so if you are in it, if when you look at a network, <clears throat> what you don't want to do is you don't want to go spam the network. You want to find the first, like, it's like when you go into a city, when you go into a country, when you go into a, a community, you find the sharpest person that has the most influence. Like when I was at the gym, the day I was at the gym, when I prospected the guy with the shoes, he was like, he was walking around like he owned the place. That's why I prospected him. Right. I didn't prospect the person that's like in the corner or like wearing dirty clothes. Cause I'm like, they're not a sharp person. They're not someone that's, I want to like potentially have in part of my business. I want the sharpest person. So Alex has a training on, it's called recruiting is the answer on YouTube. Yeah. And he talks about how to go into a mall or go into a place and you find the sharpest person, you compliment them, you ask them a question, all that stuff. And I just learned that and I do it, but it's like, I would start there with whoever has the most influence. Mm -hmm. 
and I would do those three things. Make them feel special, tell them, you know, tell them, hey, no one knows about this yet, right? And it's bigger than me, if I would you, and just do it that way. Take them out for lunch. But then flip. Well. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah. Okay. Help? Okay. Cool. Thank you. All right. One more quick one, and then we got to go watch the game. If anyone has anything. If you guys are wondering if you can do this, I didn't know what network marketing was the month I signed up. I'm going to let you close, Ty, if you want to <laughs> share a few words. Oh, me. Well, it's... <laughs> Firstly, thank you, right? <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, I mean, guys, my story's pretty simple. I literally did not know what network marketing was the month I signed up. I'd, I'd heard the term maybe like Amway or those things. That's all I knew. I knew nothing else. But uh, I was really intrigued to learn about how money works and to learn from people that had success because they weren't in my network. The only way I was going to learn about how to change my life was to connect to people that have done it. So, yeah, signed up to learn. At the same time, I saw this thing. And I saw a little five-minute video that drew that thing and I went really <laughs> and then i look and i'm like really maybe i can find 12 people to do this with me that would be a game changer like that that right there was a game changer at the time big game changer and um and yeah just got connected with rich and figured out like man i i think i could do this i think i could just invite some people to take a look and honestly i butchered it i verbally vomited on everyone at the beginning <laughs> i i did this wrong in every way possible um, you didn't physically vomit. No, no, like, <laughs> just to clarify. But, um, but really, like I said, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just really excited. Mm -hmm. And I've had zero experience in sales, zero experience in marketing. I found out later... Well, you're married, so you do have some experience. Okay, in fine. <laughs> Unofficially have some experience. But, um, but I realized that the only thing I had going for me was a positive mental attitude. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that in itself probably is what did most of this. I was just naturally pretty good at staying joyful and positive. People wanted a piece of that. But um, but in terms of this, as soon as I realized, like, honestly, just practically, like, I went straight to it. In my first week, I joined. I started watching some stuff, got my belief up straight away, made my list. I'm like, my brother, a couple of my best friends, you, you guys, we missed the dot-com thing. We're not going to miss this thing. And, and just said, we need to change our circle and our kind of, kind of conversations because we're still early on this crypto thing. Call that a secret. <laughs> like, part of the first 5% in the world. And based on that... Got to Timo 12 and then that was, I joined two months before lockdown. So I had two months to talk to people at school drop-offs and pickups and whatever. The rest was all online. And that's how I realized, like, you can do this around the world. Mm, and now yeah. we're in, I don't know, had people that I get, I accidentally live streamed our last event to my main page, not the group. And I had people message me, they're calling me at seven, they messaged me overnight and I didn't respond. But at 7.30 in the morning, my phone rings and they're like, I thought that fit life thing was a fitness thing. I had no idea you were doing this. <laughs> I've been praying for this. Can I sign up now? <laughs> I was like, sure. <laughs> but it's the crazy thing about this is people are hunting and Googling for this. Yeah. Like the number two Google thing I think on the planet is how to make money online. Mm. And this academy now with 10 years of doing this is pretty good at answering that question. And so you can come, you can have a giant list, put your name to paper, but honestly, some people might reach out to you before you get to them when they see what you're doing. Mm. And whether that's doing it face-to-face -face, online or posting about it, there's multiple ways to do this. But I did it every single way wrong possible in the beginning, not knowing what I'm doing. So I know some of you guys in this room might already have experience doing this kind of thing. So all that to say, if I can do this, anyone can do this. <laughs> and now, back then, like I said, one of the only ones in New Zealand then, now there's a solid few hundred of us. There's a Facebook group. We're doing live events. We're doing Zooms online. Like we've, we've now properly, what I'd say, got momentum. Mm -hmm. And all over the country and internationally. <laughs> and to reference what's happened in other countries at this point, Japan had a few hundred and they very quickly went to a few thousand. And I personally got a vision to help about 5,000 people crash this thing, yeah. like properly. And Japan now has 10,000. So I can tell you this, I'm not slowing down. And those who want to run, you're welcome to run. You're welcome to try and catch me. But I'm still out to have the most people at a live event, the most people on a Zoom, and the most people coming with to an event. So I'm not putting my feet up. <laughs> I'm, uh, until the ones closest to me that I love and care about the most they can put their feet up. So mm -hmm. like I said, it, it hits different when one of the first guys I called Mario where as a trader, he was able to quit his job as a builder two years later. Mm -hmm. Like that's different. You don't have to do, like that's the thing. You, you, this is brilliant, but the fact is 85% of people who join you might not want to do that, but they can quit their job because of the product. Mm -hmm. and, and that's special. Yep. And, and that hits really different when you get a phone call and it's like, man, I'm, I'm done. Like 31st of March, I am signing off, hang up, it's all about. 
And I said, cool, then you can come help me do my bathroom right now. And, um, and we did that. But anyway, but guys, I know it's gotten late. So thank you so much for coming out and, and hanging out. If you've got questions individually, personally, send us a message. Get back to it. I brought you here. I know some of you are not part of the squad yet, but thank you. Thank you. And looking forward to catching up and connecting more with you soon. All right. Thank you.